don't know if it was like hello that it's going to be more optimized when it. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey. hello. We're late, blame Ethan. <laughs> I can only apologize. I came home from work. And... I fell asleep. And fell asleep, yeah. We could also blame Soko, because if Soko was here, we wouldn't have to adjust cameras, and then he could have rocked up right to you and just boom. No, Soko would oh. been fucking late as well. Been, <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, if Soko was here, I might have just been like, hey guys, I'm going to dip out today because I'm so exhausted. But I didn't want to be the bitch that was like, we're not going to play D&D &D this He's week waffling. because I'm tired. He really is waffling. Any waff um, anyway, hey gamers. Shut up. Quick. We're here. Welcome to Unselect. Good to see y'all. Uh, as we said, Soko is not here. He's working, but he's with us in spirit. Um, before we get going, thanks for all the subs, guys. Hype Train, level one complete. Hog. Appreciate you. Um, couple of announcements. There won't be a Divinity on Monday this week. Uh, maybe we'll do another, another day, but I don't know. We'll see. But no Divinity tomorrow because... Uh, my mate and his missus have moved in together, and I'm gonna go visit and look at their new spot tomorrow. So, Yo, he's fun. I'm gonna grab uh, <laughs> a bite to eat with them and all that stuff. So I'll be I'll be doing that tomorrow. So no divinity. Uh, we had our new and improved dungeon discourse last Thursday. That was a lot of fun. Uh, old segments meet some new segments, and it was a it was a good time. It was a good time. We had Bella and Duke, a lot of good talks and all the good stuff. Uh, there you know, should be. A discourse this week as well um we might have to play around with the timing a little bit because this week is also on thursday the uh summer game fest uh thing that we do shoot the shit for so might have to play around with the starting time a little bit but we'll keep you posted on all that in the discord and the twitter mommy, and all mommy good stuff slash grand milf <laughs> there's a yep. lovely little highlight from that discourse <laughs> no i'd forgotten it if you don't know what that is, you'll have to watch the episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It was a good time. It was a good time. Um, We have some announcements. I know Laura has been fucking chomping at the bit Gagging. for, uh, for, uh, I'm excited. for an announcement. So take it away, Laura. <laughs> well, uh, during May, when we were doing St. Jude, obviously my goal, if we hit $500 raise, was to run a, a, an actual campaign and progress from DMing one-shots to trying to run a campaign. It is not a homebrew campaign. I am doing a Call of the Nether Deep campaign, which is one of the Wizards of the Coast Critical Role collab campaigns set in their universe. And today, we can now finally announce both the first episode date and the players, the cast, because I've been keeping it secret because we weren't sure who they were going to be. Say and the James word, made a really cool image. Shut the thing image. on the screen. Yeah, go ahead, write out. James made a Bang. really cool reveal image for me to post on Twitter later for who our players are going to be. Bam! Bam! Date players mixture of level select friends we have some members of my stream team team side quest mix of D, &D. Uh, everyone here has played D, D for a fair amount of time like i don't think anyone's completely new to it the only one some people haven't been able to play for a while like there's been a gap but they played a lot of D, &D. so it should be super cool and yeah dutch gets to be a player in yeah, a campaign that's me i know not, that guy not a dm Hell yeah. And it's going to be super cool. And yeah, first episode, July 2nd. Oh, I guess I should say them out loud for podcast listeners that aren't looking at the graphic. But we have uh, obviously myself as DM. And then from level select, Dutch is going to be a player. Bowdy, formerly known as Natty, is going to be a player. And it's his chance to redeem himself and not screw over a party this time. Uh, and then from side quest, we have Anrand, Kaylina, and Izmira joining us. And I'm super excited. And it's going to be... I'm like really excited and also really, really nervous because like overarching things and lots of lore and lots more. I feel like there's a lot more for me to do as a storyteller DM of this and it's going to be intense, yeah. but I'm excited. When's the uh, first episode? July 2nd at July noon 2nd. Eastern Standard Time on my channel. Less than a month from Dungeon now, Select. gamers. Yeah. Hold That's on. crazy. I need Hell to yeah. get prepping, man. Hell yeah. <sighs> but it's going to be sick. All right. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. Are you, as far as VODs go? Yes. You want them on your YouTube or are you going to do anything YouTube? I it, was or? going to put them on my YouTube if that's cool. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, since you're streaming it there. Um, of course, of course, of course. Woo, yeah. that's what I will, I'll, I'll link to the Dungeon Select channel, like in the description of everything, since a lot of the like players are from, and like a bunch of us are from there. So there will still be kind of ties and links to Dungeon Select, hopefully cross promotion going on. Hell yeah. 
Beautiful. Looking forward to it. Getting to play in a campaign and not DM. Pog. Um, hell yeah, I'm excited. Gonna be fucking, gonna be a good fucking time. Um, any other announcements? Anything we wanna fucking say? I mean, I guess Thursday, uh, shoot the shit on Profane Artillery's channel. Uh, I know me and Duke are gonna be there. Uh, among some others, we're gonna be watching the uh, Summer Game Fest, uh, opening ceremony with Jeff Keighley. Just talking shit about new game announcements and the occasional pog. Hopefully. June 10th That's is gonna be really fucking pog. That is all. Mario Strikers, baby. Mario Strikers <laughs> comes out June 10th. That's gonna be pretty fucking cool. That's all. Okay. That would be a stream. Yeah, that's the only good thing in, in June, right? True. Here. Literally true. True. Duke Lone's Things podcast launches on Saturday the 11th. Let's go. Oh, true. Woo. Lined up to come out on like fucking eight different podcast platforms for the nice. audio only, but it'll be streamed live on my channel, so. Uh, what time on June eleventh? Six PM. Uh, BST, I guess. All right. Hell yeah. A lot of cool stuff in the in the fucking pipeline. Let's go. Um, it's both mine and Bowdy's birthday this month. Um. Get fucked, quick. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> Get fucked. <quit. laughs> I said, is that all that's exciting? This Beanie month? Bowdy yeah. birthday. Yeah. Yes. So Beanie we're not talking Bowdy about your birthday. birthday. Your birthday's not my, exciting. My birthday's um, first. <laughs> But since Bowdy's <laughs> is the, the day after mine, uh, we are in the talks of me doing a fucking Pokemon run. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that should be fun, right, guys? Yeah, man, I really enjoyed doing a Pokemon run that one time. That was really fun. Didn't get boring at all. Yo, is. Scoffing. Is a <laughs> voice type? <laughs> <laughs> Twat. Uh, and he didn't die from the self-destruct. It was the best part about that. It was like he didn't die. Anyway. Anyway. Last we left off. You guys explored a bit of Silverkeep. Um, found all the pieces of the puzzle that you need to progress to the second floor. Got some interesting uh, encounters with... Um, the spirit of a uh, follower of Tyr, uh, as well as uh, some some goodies along the way, as well as some fights, a couple of traps that you guys uh, didn't really avoid. Lazarin got fucking annihilated by a saw blade being shot out of the wall. That was fun. But um, we ended the episode with you guys short resting, about to head upstairs. I think, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you guys want to do something else. I don't know. So, take it away. Short rest, done. Kaz wants to talk to Dine. Short rest, not done. <laughs> nope. Fairly not. Nope. I remember you saying that. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Go for it. Crap. Um, Dagon, you left the tavern before the conversation finished. And, um... My curiosity, are you speaking this or are you signing this? I'm speaking this. Okay, cool. Um, and I understand that it's confusing, considering I'm telling you in the same breath that it's not a big deal and that it is also a pretty big deal. I, um, not. In part, that's because I don't know what the reaction is going to be. My guess is that it's going to be bad. But, um... When I first came here from the Feywild, I didn't anticipate being here this long. And I especially didn't anticipate having anyone with me. Besides Blue. So, when we first met, it was a lie I told because it protected me. But then, a year and a half passed and... My people had three basic rules they taught me. Trust no one but yourself. A lie is always better than the truth. And you'd, anyone on the material plane, especially, 
can't be trusted or befriended. I got in a lot of trouble for being friends with the druids, but that's besides the point. I have managed to break every single one of those rules in a very short amount of time. For me, at least. And, um... At this point, I suppose it didn't occur to me that you you would want me to stay around when you had all the others. I wasn't your only cho choice anymore. I um I am trying to be better at this. And if you have any questions you want to ask me about it, then I will answer them honestly, if you can believe that. And if you want nothing to do with me anymore, I'll never bother you again. There's some hesitation, clear thought. Like, like you, you could see gears turning in her head kind of expression on her face. Um, and just signs, well, I mean, I get pretty lonely if I choose to not have anything to do with you anymore and basically can't really talk to anyone, so that's probably not gonna happen. Makes life very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Unless I want to go back to hanging out with criminals, because that seems to be the vast majority of people who speak this language, which is quite upsetting. It doesn't give a particularly good face for it. Ah, dude, why you gotta make it so hard? And this is her actually saying this. This isn't Laura. It's like, gotta make it so hard to be mad at you. It's annoying. I, um considering the problems you've had with breaking laws before i i think i just made a decision that i thought was the right one but i, sh I should have given you a choice also just doesn't make sense considering we had that whole discussion about you know trust honesty whatnot I'm not saying this then becomes like, okay, well, now we need to sit here for an hour and I need to tell you my entire life story, because that's fine. But anything that is something maybe that level of importance or, like, intrinsic to your very being, you know, maybe seems relevant to bring up rather than repeat this situation again. This is it. I have no other... What else could I lie about? Well, I, have... I mean, we're... We're kind of... Don't answer this out loud. But we're we're kind of lying to most of the group right now, barring Brooks. So there's still a lot. Uh... I'm like, don't answer that out loud in any way incriminating. Answer that in sign language if you feel the need to answer in a way that's incriminating. Lies only I share. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna be mad for longer, but I guess we're kind of in a situation and that's <sighs> Most of what you say makes sense. Some of it sounds like complete bullshit, but I've also kind of accepted there's always going to be at least 10% of everything that comes out of your mouth that's complete bullshit, but usually it's the fun kind. So, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I suppose that's kind of what happens when you are both raised in an environment where no one tells you the truth. And uh, even the natural laws of that plane are kind of up for grabs at any particular point in time which is also up for grabs Doesn't once really... apparently 
I can just choose to look at it this way, that this makes me some sort of superhuman willpower. Because most of people's excuses in this kind of situation comes up is I'm a product of my upbringing and like product of my environment. I mean, I would be a lot more messed up if that was universally true for everyone. So I must just have phenomenal inner strength. I'm going to choose to look at it that way. I, th I think that's a pretty good... We, we make a pretty good metric. You know, I'm like at the very bottom there, and then you're like at the top. Have we ever... I don't think we've... This is out of character. I don't think we ever put a note... Did we ever come up with some sort of secret handshake? I don't think we ever did. Nope. I think we threw it... Or we never actually did. Okay. Um, then... Uh, I'll... Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll just... I'll just sign then. I'll uh, be like, all right, we're we're good. Don't worry about it. Although you, you might have to explain the your people thing to me sometime, because yeah, because I'm feeling like because you don't. I don't think you mean either like the elemental ones like Darshu or Fan. Mm, I think you yeah. mean something else, and I, I don't think we were there for that conversation. That seems like a conversation for when we're not, you know, gonna fight for our lives in a minute when we're done. Just regroup in here. Yeah, that might give you some explain that feeling. later. I'm that guessing it has to do with the scary contact. lady? The That's scary shadow scary. lady that you summon? Uh, kind kind of? I okay. suppose. Fair. Well, tell me later. <laughs> okay. I need to meditate a little bit more. Hold on. I need some time. <clears throat> I need to regain my energy. Out of character. I need a minimum amount of time during the rest to meditate to regain my key points. So. All good, all good. <clears throat> the rest yeah. is an hour, so you've got plenty of time for all that. Yeah. I'll just sit and meditate beside her. Anyone else want to do something before uh, short rest ends? I mean, I will, I, I will at some point uh, go up to Davian and... Um, I'll just give him a little pat on the shoulder, and I'll give him a vigilant blessing. Oh! It's like, Isn't yeah. it? <sighs> That's advantage Shit. on initiative. Yes, perfect. I'll just take my... Um, What's it, what's it called? Insp inspiration? inspiration? like, yeah. For now, so, so that I know that I have it. Is there... Is there enough, like, uh... Rubble, or, like... I know, like, rocks fell and stuff, but is there anything I could use to create a small fire, like, wood to burn? Um, you are in a structure that is pretty much completely made of stone. There's a couple of wooden beams that, like, extend from ground to, to ceiling as support. But there's not really any, like, with the rubble that fell, that was mostly also just, like, stone... That they that they place there as a trap. There's not really any any wood around for you to quickly just like build a fire out. Wait, I can create a bonfire. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> and do that. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna create create a bonfire. Which actually, how long does that last? Hold on. All I want to do basically is turn Onu into a dog. So I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna create a bonfire. Take one of Onu's feathers and uh, sort of just crumble it over the fire and, and re-summon him as a dog. Create a bonfire lasts a minute, but I mean, this whole thing is just flavor anyway. Yeah, yeah. it's all good. All good? Uh, yeah, and then short rest. Okay. So with that, your short rest ends in about an hour. Sitting around, you're still you're in the room. You can see the staircase with the the force field uh, and a and a certain mechanism in the wall beside it. What do you want to do? I'll kind of look at everyone. I'll hold the. Uh, I think I think I got the square. Yeah. I got the 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 sort of square cut like gem or in name as well. Should we um? Should we do this then? Yeah. Yeah, let's hope to fuck he wasn't lying. Is there some level of complexity to it, or um, are you just, just putting the thing in? I'll look at it. Does it look like there's like any other sort of mechanism with this, or is it just like? Make an investigation check. 
Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. And you asked. <laughs> I know, but... Oh, ow. Where the fuck am I? Die! There we go. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, you investigate the, the sort of panel in the wall, and it is made out of some, like, thin, like, like sheet metal, almost, that has just been placed on the wall. Uh, when you, like, put your ear to it, you do hear some... Not necessarily mechanical parts, but you hear some humming, and it definitely tells you this is not a mechanical thing. This is definitely also given away by the fact that it's a giant force field. Definitely a magical contraption. Um, I will, um... And you see three shapes. Uh, I can't remember who has the other ones, but I'm going to assume that like people just give them all to me. And it's because anyone like really wants to put one in themselves. Um, uh, I'll put in the one I found, which was this sphere. Roll, and I, I'll put in the other two because I think Jack's had one of them. So uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> but I know you found all three, so that doesn't matter. Yeah. Who, who has what? Yeah. So I'll put I'll put, I'll put the other two in. Uh, as you put them in, and, and, and Kess joins you and puts the, the third one in, um, <clears throat> all the gems start to shine very, very brightly, to the point where you kind of have to like cover your eyes because of how, how bright of a flash it gives off, and then it just stops, and you can see the force shield just dissipates, and the staircase is now accessible. It was, well, that was easy. Was really that easy? I mean... Oh, you know, like, I mean, if there's another, any traps, I've been burned one too many times. <laughs> By that, I mean I've been burned once. <laughs> That's one too many. <laughs> to be fair, the pain of being shot by a saw blade into the stomach... The I mean, I feel it very real. And it killed you. You you died. Or you well, went unconscious. Well, I, I didn't I did feel the <laughs> pain so long, to be fair. Because I went, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> True, but then I suppose when you oh. woke up, like you still had a massive hole in your stomach. Oh, it just looks down like, oh, this isn't right. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll check for the traps. You know, I got the little glasses. That's, that's probably yeah. That's probably wise if you do and, that. And uh, I will investigate the uh, the staircase entrance. Yeah, make an investigation check with advantage because Any you have the flashies on. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, that's better. Natural 15 brings it to a... Uh... 17! <laughs> as far as you can tell, the only thing protecting the staircase was the force field that you have dismantled. Looks... looks all good to me. And I will, um... Whistle Onu along to heal and we'll, we'll make our way up the stairs. As you, right behind. as you all go up the stairs, uh, you find yourselves in an, a similar entry hall as uh, the chamber that you enter the, fort, the, the keep in uh, through the main gate. Uh, a large rectangular room in the middle you see sitting a large stone table with something etched into it uh, of some kind of writing. You can see that there's three ways for you to go. There's a door on the left hand side of the room. There is a pathway that leads north into a different room, and there is a corridor that takes you east on the right side of the room that progresses further in. Uh, just a reminder for anyone watching, there are pictures of these maps, if you want to have it easier to keep along, in the spoiler section of the Dungeon Select Discord. So if you want to look at a map of the building we're in, you can do that. <clears throat> what did you say, Duke? What's well, that on the table? Uh, it is in common. It is. Uh, it says to protect and serve the people of Keldar with glory to the Empire. Seems to be kind of the the, the Blue Sentinel like motto. Yeah, part of the part of the old <laughs> build. Is there? No, there's nothing on the table. No. No, it's empty. No buttons or switches. It's, or... Uh, you, it's definitely more of an art piece than a functional table. It is uh, etched in this very dark colored stone a lot of intricacies and decorations with like the motto being like in the center of it it seems more of a decorative piece than an actual functional table on, i know you probably you said you might be like changing layout on the map mm -hmm. like what number are we roughly uh 12 the, um, we are on 12 yeah, yeah 
Like the only thing on the map that you guys have is you have to ignore that staircase all the way bottom right on the map. Isn't like is not there. That doesn't exist. Oh, okay. okay. If you have it open in something other than Discord, if you go to the pinned message, I put an edited one below it. Yeah, I think you made one, but you photoshopped that one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and... Other than that, the layout is exactly the same. Okay, cool. Do we hear anyone? Make a perception check. Got some big, what, echoey, I would like to assume, stone mm -hmm. rooms. That's... Yeah, the entirety of the room is this, like, the walls and the floor. The floor are, are, are a little more grayish, but also, like, a grayish white, whereas the walls are very bright white stone. Oh, like marble? Uh, almost, yeah. Not, not exactly, but... It's like granite? It's, uh, I got a 19 on perception. Um... As I sort of... Hush everyone and listen. With my elf ears, they aren't elvish. You hear a very, very, very faint, like very faint, um, scratching sound almost. As if, uh, uh -oh. scratching as in, almost as if like furniture being moved and like scraping over the floor, that sort of thing. But it's very faint and comes from very far away, it seems like. Before you specify, I was going to make a joke like, it's actually Dagon just running her claws along the walls as they walk up the stairs. But <laughs> this, this is a weird one, but is it like, is it rhythmic and repetitive? Mm, there doesn't seem to be any like rhythm. No. Beats. Okay. So it's not like something moving back and forth or something. It's just like random sort of yeah. scraping. Okay. Maybe that I, 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 I'll, I'll relay that. In. Relay that to the rest of the group. I'm going to can I assume so. Um, Question is, are they barricading themselves into a room, or are they like... Because they might probably. be making defensive positions down a corridor. We come around, there's a pile of tables, and they shoot arrows at us. Well, that would be kind of rude. Where do we... I mean, Soul's be breaking rude. into their home and killing most of them, but... Nah, they deserve it. Oh, 100%, but it's still technically rude. It's nah, not the most civilized that. etiquette we've ever done. Nah. Uh, are we going to... Looking back at that map you have. Is it worth us going upwards and covering our backs, or just going down? I, so I assume he's going, Val is going to be in the furthest corner. Far away. That's You're... a point, actually. Dutch, is there any way hmm? behind us to close the stairway? No, it's completely open. There's no door or anything. As much as I want to rush off, I don't like the idea of us then trying to leave with Valor and someone jumping out from a side room. I agree. Especially if Valor's not in the best condition, so I think we should clear as we go. I think we could, uh, we're safe to assume he won't be in the, in the best of conditions. No, so I think clear as we go, make sure there's no surprises like there was downstairs. Nice. No. Like a to... giant worm thing. Exactly. Then I'll look Gross. at the, the like westward door. Sorry. That's there. I'll look at the like that westward door. It's like, well, let's. Okay. It's just be a one-off. Better check in there. And I'll. Um. See if there is a door. That is correct. Um. What are you trying to do? Are you just trying to listen? Is it to locked. Those... It is locked. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. I'll try and like I'll like try and be very gentle to like test like the lock. You know, like when you do like really slowly. And then um, I'll try and listen and see if I can hear anything. Make a perception check. Of course. Uh, 14. Um, well, as far as you can tell, you don't hear anything coming from the other side. Okay. It's locked. Hmm. I know I've tried. I know I know which two doors it is. That, the, that pair of keys I have are. I'm still going to try them anyway. Uh, no. Yeah, cool. I was like, this is gonna, it's that, and this is gonna work. But if it did, that's amazing. If it did, it would be really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know if it's worth popping this door open, but it looks, seems locked. I don't think anything's in here. I'll, I'll pick it. I'll, like, gesture, like, be my guest. I will uh, pick it. Okay. Uh, make a check with your thieves' tools. Um, D20 plus dex plus proficiency if you are proficient with thieves' tools, which I think you are. I am. Uh, She's a, a sly little lady. So sly. 
17. 17? Yeah. Um, you manage to pick the lock, Ooh. but your lockpick snaps. And like, the oh, pick no. that you put in just like sticks in it. Thank God I have loads of these. But you do manage to open the lock right before it, uh, it breaks. I will open the door. <clears throat> All right. Uh, inside it, you see three chests. Okay. Um, Any of them talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick before people start rummaging, the first thing I want to do is uh, the closest one I want to check of traps. Make an investigation check. Bad. Really bad. Nine. Can Jax assist him? Because Jax... I already have advantage, so... Oh, oh well, yeah. shit, I guess. Yeah. Jax will assist you and make it um, worse. As far as, as, far as I know... As far as you can tell, uh, nothing has trapped the chest. They are, you do pick up that, they are, that it's locked, though. Can I... Can I... I guess I would have to touch it to check if it traps, right? Yes. Okay. With that in mind... Can I take a... I'm going to pull a grappling hook out of my bag. Okay. And I'm just going to carefully touch the other two to make sure that they aren't mimics. So I don't start sticking to them. They are not. <laughs> and then can I go on and check those for traps also? Make another investigation check. Uh, 14? 14, okay. Yeah. Again, Should as far as you can chest? tell, not trapped. Definitely locked though. Okay. And the lock itself seems pretty. It's a beefy one. It's definitely. Um, Are these more complex than Does any of the locks like you've seen on chests so far? Storeroom or just like. Yeah, I was just gonna ask the same thing. Does it like organized, like stored chests? Does it look kind of a bit more ramshackle? Like they just fucking throwing shit in here and locks it away. No, it's definitely like the chests are. Um. Well, there's just three chests in here, but it's not like they've just been randomly tossed in. It's okay. like they're placed. These aren't like trunks or like storage no, things. No, these are like these are proper, like... like proper chests with very intricate locks. Lock boxes, I guess. Okay, let me add it. Wait. No, I think no, I think we. Can... I rolled for the last I... one, and I rolled really well. So can I? <laughs> can I? Can that count? Sure. <laughs> okay, it's a dirty twenty. Again, a very intricate lock, but you manage to, as you're looking, get a quick peek inside, and you can see that there's a lot of shiny in it. Shiny! But oh no! You also it's notice poison. that there is definitely some kind of mechanism. Which what did you roll again? Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. I'll say that. Um, how high is your intelligence? Uh, it's Ooh. pretty good. Uh, Fourteen, so plus two. 14, okay. You reckon, or you you've seen, heard about uh, mechanisms like this before, that protect chests. Uh, basically, you can try and pick it, but once the pick fails, the contents of the chest will be destroyed by the chest. Oh, um, oh no. Okay. With no my pressure. 14 intelligence, could I retroactively say this is probably the case for all of the chests in the room? Sure. Okay. Before we start jumping in and trying to you know, bust open all of these wonderful chests. Mm -hmm. Would it be an idea? That there's a likelihood that if you fuck it up, yeah, everything inside is ruined. Okay. We could put them all in the bag of holding and take them to someone like a locksmith or something. Ooh. Can I try one? No, because once if you try the best one though, Kess, and think if someone you, else if... can choose one for me, I'll close my no, eyes no, no. and someone else can no, choose. But, one. But, no, because then they're accountable. Then they're yeah, ways, and so then it's just... not my fault. No, it is, because you're the one who fucked up the lockpick. No, because I am uh, uh, really good uh, uh, at picking uh, uh, locks, so um, I will uh, uh, do but, uh, great uh, and nothing yeah? will go wrong. <laughs> but, uh, that, but, did you say there's, that, there's three chests? There's yeah. three, yes. yeah. I don't How heavy know are they? fit in the bag of holding. Yeah, yeah they I might max and... out their space. Can I try oh, holding I know, I one slightly? Bag of holding is 64 cubic feet. An average chest, like the official like chest that you can get with your starting gold, uh, holds twelve cubic feet. So you can assume that they're at least, at least a thirty-six bit cubic feet. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's uh, so a what else has Jack's got in the fucking bag of a holding? A fuckload in the bag of holding, I think. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could probably put them in one of my vessels. I mean, we could just, you know, 
leave them here for now and come back because you know kind of not the reason we're here but can i can i try one for once i mm. actually agree with the last room oh for once it's so boring for once you're not oh. being a fucking moron thank you um how full like how much shit is in jax's bag of holding just i i mean curiosity. soko doesn't keep cool. a track of it on dnd beyond he but I know at the down very somewhere. least he has scale mail and half plate that he's not wearing. Mm -hmm. Which is and bulky. Hunting traps. Uh, oh, I, there I, are I my hunting traps. Fair, I think it's a fair <laughs> assumption that half of the capacity of the bag of holding is already gone. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we'd what fit three chests. Oh, wait, oh, I think you would fit maybe two chests, Max, in there. And that's like nothing else in that bag of holding. And that's, yeah, then we can't use it for yeah, anything we'll, else. Yeah, we'll say that, yeah, you can fit two of the chests in, but that will be the bag of holding capped. Obviously, Soko, if I'm wrong and it's really empty, it's your own fault for not putting it on D&D. &D &D. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we'll say that you can probably fit two in, but that will be the cap. That will be nothing else fits in the bag. Jax will look at the group and be like, um, I think maybe only two of the chests would fit. Then I can try one of them. And either way, it doesn't matter because we won't be able to take one. Well, no, we just will wait. I don't particularly care. Why don't we just let her try it so that the argument's done with, and it'll be quicker when we're done. Fine. Do Should that I... one, and I'll point to the one on the on the left hand side. Okay. The one like separate from the other two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Most okay. uh, yeah. likelihood that this these chests are like they've they've found Jax's Electrum, and it's just all locked. <laughs> these chests are where they're keeping Valor. In pieces. Twenty four. Twenty four. Ooh, you open the chests. Him. You can hear a very satisfying click. You remove your, your thieves' tools, open it up, and you are met by a shiny pile of 250 gold pieces smiling at you. Ooh. See? I told you! This is mine now. No, oh. that was not the agreement at all. You just said you could open it. You didn't say you get what's in there. We'll split that. I have, I have retroactively decided that this is mine now. No. Given well, how much you upset everyone recently, I wouldn't start <laughs> collecting gold. What if you take... What was it? Was it 250? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You take 50, and the rest of us get 40. I am okay with that. Because that is maths. And then you it's still a... get a finder's fee for unlocking it. <laughs> and Delazrin can put 10 in each of his pockets. <gasps> <laughs> no, the greatest thing has just happened as well. Oh god. Are they all even no. now? No, no, no. They're all 69. Oh! <laughs> it's the best nice. day ever. Nice. That is the best yes! day ever. Nice. I'm getting nice. no more gold. Does, does no that more. mean that now we're Lazarin, when we go back to the city, has to go hook up with someone? True. I think that's the rules, yeah. I think different. that's the rules. I'm going to have to 69 with four different people. Because I've got four, got four pouches. Can I be one? Um... Okay, so that's one chest. Uh, that's that's one awesome. chest done. Daddy-o. What are you doing with the other two chests? What are you doing with the other two chests? already put the other two chests okay. in the bag of holding. Okie dokie. And we are fucking off. Alrighty. So that is that room Beautiful. we've dealt with. Um, as you open the lid of that one chest, by the way, Kess, you can see this like this mechanism uh, that, that Davian described. Where you could you can see that it was connected to the lock to the point of like... A lot of different pins and whatnot, and if one pin would have fallen the wrong way, it would have triggered some kind of uh, mechanical self-destruct of the entire insides of the chest. Is it possible? Just at a glance, I'm not going to spend loads of time on it, mm -hmm. but can we? Can I tell, or can anyone else tell, how it destroys the stuff inside? Sid. I mean, Jax is the artificer of the group, so roll a. Um... We'll say that roll an investigation check with Jax's stats, just to see if he... Okay. I mean, yeah, his passive kind of investigation like... is 18. Jesus, yeah. fuck. Never mind, he doesn't have to roll. Never mind. He, the, okay. Dude, he takes one glance at it and he's like, he's I like, know. I know everything. <laughs> I know everything. I know the man who made this. I see him. He's the man who made it. He's like, I know who did this. Cass is just kind of... Jax study learns it briefly that... For, like, future um, reference. They're is a certain substance within the mechanism that um, would have heat up the contents of the chest to the point where it would just be utterly destroyed. So it's got gold, fucking thermite in it? Pretty much, yeah. It would have just completely... Oh my fucking god, okay. It's in the gold to the point where 
even though it would be like one massive clump, it would just be damaged and, and broken and brittle. It would have completely fucked the uh, molecular structure of the of the um of of the gold itself with it, the it, amount of heat that it heats it to the point where it starts to Oh god, that's horrific. Yeah. Okay. Um Kaz well, just kind of studies as that. As a side note, reference. I would like to attempt to salvage some of that when we take these chests out of the bag, but so we'll tackle that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Could I make it into a grenade? Oh boy! Well, oh, Jack's you know, like fucking thermites. Oh shit! Um, oh, fuck yeah, I do. This man's gonna touch thermite to I'll himself. Say that, I'll say that. Like, like, there's definitely something that you could firework. collaborate. I Brooks on his own? No, but with help of Jack, <laughs> probably. Yeah. And with help of Jack, say no. So we'll we'll say that you know you can bring it up with Jax when whenever you get like the other two chests checked out or whatever. Of course, Soko is gonna be down for it. Dude. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we made um, the right in D and D. I mean, it's not really an explosion. No, it's just a very quick it's a eating one up of hot burn. Yeah, something that just reaches Technically, insane th you could temperatures argue it's very quickly. A very, very low velocity explosive. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I guess it's so. a combustible. It's not an explosive. That's that's a good that's a good way of putting it. All right. All right. I was just making a fucking mean he hard. So like right, freaking... Idiot coy, but didn't pass chemistry. Look at ass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get A level. You're right, I did pass, I got you. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, as so, in you should go study something else. Um, <laughs> other than the chests, nothing else seems this seems to be some kind of like treasury where the whether it's the blue sentinels or the night webs just have their funds stashed that were present at this location. Even the way it's ours now. Had. I exit and start and head to that northern room that like is straight. There's okay. a the door. Um, in this northern room, you can see a table at the north end, covered in blood and, and fleshy bits. Uh, buckets of salt and a variety of sharp poking and prodding tools scattered about. You reckon that this, um, you know, in interrogation room for people that don't particularly want to cooperate. Mm. Okay, is there anything else? That was pretty fucking barren. Um, are you looking like at the table? Like, are you like? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna like mess here and make sure. Make I'm a medicine check, day. dude. Fuck it. Medicine? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that is a twenty-six. Twenty-six. I get plus eight to medicine, dude. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, you can tell that there's definitely uh all the blood. There's there's blood that is weeks old. There's blood that is Ooh. days old. There's also Thank blood you. that is as fresh as a few hours. Few hours. Okay. They've tried to question someone recently. I kind of just like stare at Fro a little bit and then leave. Continue moving. Mm. Don't know what type of state father is going to be in now. I mean, square. there could be any number of people still held in the fort, right? Like, we already ran into a couple <laughs> downstairs. We sure he's fine. He's, I, I, I'm, I'm sure he's... Let's just stick with what we know for right. now, which is he's not here. Which doesn't mean that he's good or bad. We just move on. Yeah, really, really inspiring. <laughs> 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 Those need it sometimes. Yeah. And kind there's, of like... there's no point assuming anything. We just do as we do. Um, you you thought like... the man who blew himself up would have any semblance of tact? All right, I'm not going to have a conversation about tact from you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially um, after recent conversations. Okay, you got to around... stop bringing that up. Looking around the room, is there, is there anything else of note? Or is it just like, yeah, this is where they interrogate people. That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't see that, like, allows him to keep some, like, looking back at that room. And, like, kind of sets off. Quite, quite quickly. Yeah, I'm going to start just moving through. Is the rest of the keep, like, clean? Or is there, like, someone who was bleeding was led away from this room in a certain direction? Like, uh, are there any drag marks. you might be able to... Make a make a perception check. Drag marks in the blood. Natural twenty. 
Oh. Definitely see that they've Fucking tried to fuck. clean it, but there's definitely some resi residual like drag marks and blood spatters that they kind of missed or only partially cleaned up. Okay, I want to keep try and keep note of those as we move through through the fort, so we have an idea of where they might have taken whatever prisoner was dude, dragged from that room. With a natural twenty, dude. Uh, as you're going to progress into that eastern room, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, you can see that the drag marks go south. Okay. And this room itself is just an empty hall with a, a, a pillar in the middle of the room. Um, again, just an artsy decorative piece um, kind of thing. That same motto kind of carved around the pillar this time. Similar as that pillar <clears throat> in the main entry hall downstairs. Um, again, a variety of ways to go. You can go south, you can go north to a set of doors. You can also head east. The choice is yours. The blood trail goes straight that away and i'll gesture towards the, the southern room so much. if we if we want to get get to him as quickly as possible we should we should go that way no we didn't need we to... want to check out to make sure nothing jumps out at us we need to make sure we clear this place up a little bit like don't giant be... centipedes or something don't be coming back and as i'm as i'm saying that i'm going to be walking towards that northern room okay uh... can i listen for that scraping noise again now that we're kind of a little more central to get an idea of which way it was coming from mm, make another perception check natural one <laughs> yeah. no it seems to have stopped you can't you don't hear it anymore hmm. joking um you want to listen into that northern door uh Lazarus? yes please make a perception check Uh, 22. You don't hear anything coming from behind that door. I'm going to try and, is that, I'm going to try and open it. Uh, it is unlocked. Oh. Uh, open and <clears throat> as you kind of like push the door open, there, this seems to be just like a small bedroom, two empty beds, nothing else of note really in this room. I'm still going to like look underneath the beds and like lift up all the covers and stuff. So sure Check for cowards. <laughs> check for coward. <laughs> roll me a coward check. Uh, roll me, roll me a thing. coward check. Check. Uh, <laughs> coward check, check. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, okay. Nah, this room is completely empty, and there seems to be nothing of note really. Just it's just it is what it is on surface level. Just uh, an empty bedroom. Cool. Not um, really can I hear anything through the door that leads into like area thirteen? Um, make a perception check. Boy. Dark oh. across that 14 is scary. Woo! Uh... Eighteen. Eighteen? Yeah. You hear some very faint muffled voices. I'm gonna sign to Daigon that there were voices on the other side of the door. Okay, you're talking about the door going towards 13 on the map? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting. Um, I don't know what to do with that information. Because <laughs> by signing to me, it feels like she wants us to be quiet. But I can't really tell, not like I can tell anyone else in the group anyway. Um, can I try and, um, get quietly, walk up close to the door as I'm listening, try and... Actually, down to the bottom and try and smell like the the little like the gap under the door to see if I can smell it. Does it does smell human? Does it smell like a creature? Oh, um, well, that'd be unfortunate. <sighs> smells like uh, ooh. Uh, seventeen. You smell people. Uh, very faint, very faint scent of people, but you also smell a faint scent of food. Okay. I'll sign to Kess. Smells like humans, also food, maybe a, a mess hall or like dining area. Uh, I'll like go back over to the group. Um, we think there's a mess hall over there and there are definitely people inside. All right. Okay. I mean, we want to. Do we want to charge in? Them, I suppose. Maybe not charge in. Send me charging. <laughs> Go in there, yeah. Open the door. Yeah. Roll the range shit we have at him. Everybody walk the dinosaur. 
I don't think I've seen that play. What? I, I was thinking game. you run in, Brooks and Ona will be right next to you, and then you can both just fucking throw yourselves at whoever, and then we'll follow up with all. I. I know it's another dinosaur. I can't. I can't do much more today. So, oh. And our plan is to start all the fights before we get to Valor when Brooks is in that position. Did you roll any hit dice on your short rest? Oh yeah, I'm I'm okay. healed. But you but... still get a lot of your cool features back. Yeah. Your key points should come back, what you have. Yeah. My rages <laughs> don't. I know. I can do stuff. I I think it would be sensible maybe to chokehold this one, so range it, let them come to the door. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I can do stuff. Cool. And do you just want to signing to Absolute cast? Just grounded. start making noise and just drawing them to this pinch point, and we just are ready and we, waiting. We could do. Like I'm thing. gonna go over and slam the doors open so they like. Oh, wait, as, the as she's going over, seeing no, she, knowing she's gonna do that, I want to get into that corner, like you know, just past the door. There's like about a, a ten foot by ten foot little square, like the end of that hallway. I just mm -hmm. want to be there. So if anyone comes out past the doors, I'm like ready to just like fear What's them the, as they come so through the door. So there's locked for some reason. <laughs> Can I hold an action or is like slamming the doors open too much? <laughs> I mean, if, if you're actively slamming the doors open, that's your action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Are they even going to open what if they're locked? They're not locked. You slam like, the door, oh, okay. you slam the door open. Slam the doors open so it they echoes hit a the wall. It echoes a bit. And, um, Spear out. I seem to get a response. Oh, that's oh, when I when really I see this no response, I'll camera. like when they say like instant response, I'll kind of say semi loudly. We're supposed to be quiet, Cass. <laughs> um, I'm gonna like, oh, yeah, yeah. Me, me and Cass are either side just of the like, door. Just like, <laughs> are they like they've built like a, a pillow fort out of like cafeteria tables and are cowering behind it with like ladles and shit, food, and then they just shout food fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of dinner ladies. <laughs> oh no! As you kind of like make your, are you gonna go like make your way up that like tunnel, uh, up that corridor? Yeah. You can hear I'll muffled go voices going louder and louder now, uh, and they seem to be coming from your right, but uh, behind another set of doors. Um, at this point, getting pretty like rowdy. It seems there's just people vibing. I didn't hear you. Uh, they no. Don't know they Oh, I, I before Kess does anything, I give her the like wait motion. Oh. Then I sign. If they haven't heard us, what if we just block? If we could just find a way to barricade the doors we just came through, then we don't have to worry about them. Yeah, but we're meant to kill anyone. At, we're meant to kill everyone anyway. And these are like we're meant to kill be... everyone that we is that... see, not yeah. everyone, not get ourselves killed trying to exterminate this place. Is that um, is Kess's response signed or spoken? It's spoken at this point. Now, why not both? Both. We why would we barricade, barricade the door after we kill them? And if we leave it for long enough, you just want them to starve themselves out? No, but maybe we could. I don't know. They're in a mess can... hole. No, but how long does it we'll take let to the starve? fucking blue tentacles turn up and kill the rest of them? Oh, that's so or arrest them, or. I don't know, if it wasn't fucking stone, I'd say throw some fire in there and leave it's them to it. Sign to Kess, you know what's more boring? Death. We could throw mm. some fire You can't have fun when you're dead. Can I? I can, I can throw magic at them. And that's way more fun. Can I See? I mean, I agree with Kess. Sorry? We'll just go, like, either side of the doors and then Can throw I have a look at the door and can I see the hinges at all? Uh, you can see the hinges, yeah. Um, is it hinged so that the door opens inwards into the room? Or does it open outwards towards us? Uh, this is a pushy. This is a pushy for us. For you guys, it's a pushy. We can't. This room that you're in right anyway. now, there's also a bunch of crates on the left-hand side of the room. So what you're saying is we can kill there's them. There's also a door that leads north. But the, the sound seems to be coming from the eastern door. The eastern door. <clears throat> what I'm saying is we kill them. Would We should tie the is as the as their um, doorknobs or anything on the doors or handles or 
They're like handles, yeah. We should tie the handles for now. And then... I've seen this then map, start right? Like, I've looked fire. at this map before. <laughs> I've, I've looked map. at this map before. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we would know that... We're in 13 now, right? So, yes. so if we go into the room ahead of us, that loops all the way back around, according to the map. Yes. We tie this door. We go around that way. And then they can't run away. Right, no, 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 no. And Here's then we, we kill them. Hear me out, hear me out. Yes, I'm in. We, we barricade this door. We set trip ropes and hunting traps in the corridor to the north. Then we set a small fire on this door so that they try and, you know, run out the other way and then they get fucked up and then we fucking kill them. I know you just pledged yourself to, like, a fire elemental lord, but that just seems unnecessarily complicated. And I think he'll be satisfied if you just shoot fire at them. You know what? Head. Actually, no, I, I like Davian's plan. Oh, yeah, come so I on! I you just, guess. I'm mad at me. Guess we still have a lot more of this place to look at. I'm sure we're gonna fight something else if we can take care of them in a way. Not all of us just have infinite magical ability that we can expend all the time. Okay, we gotta we gotta be smart sometimes. We can't just go in like charging in there all the time. It sucks to sometimes we have to do plans. <laughs> I think. Well, it was Kess as well. I think he's be better. Do you want to go the traps? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of my. Uh... I'd say a last one should decide since it's I've his been collecting and spirit and some cloth and make some some fun time some fun time drinks what is that code for i'm gonna take these empty bottles from everything that i've drank so far I'm gonna pour some, some fun really time strong... drinks <laughs> i'm, I'm so gonna good. make molotov cocktails daddy know. sodas <laughs> They're not daddy sodas, they're anarchist sodas. Um, okay, so if I go, if I sneak up, uh, you said, you said Jax has hunting traps in his bag. Are there like, are there two? I think there are two, right? Uh, I will double check for you. I also have one uh, hunting trap in my normal it just, inventory. It just says one, so I think. Okay, just Diane one? Has I have one. one. Jax has I have one. one. All right. I'll pull. I'll pull mine out of my bag since you were talking about hunting traps to show Davy, and I also have one. Okay, and I'll grab the one out of Jax's bag of holding. Yeah. And um, squeak open that door to the north and make sure there's no one in there. You uh, you're trying to be stealthy, yeah? Yeah. Make a stealth check for me. A police. Okie dokie. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. So you're going where? Where exactly in the room are you going? You're going to like that, like that, that ten foot hallway. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm going. So right, we're going up to the north, right into the into that room of the three beds. Yes. And I want to hug the right hand wall. Mm -hmm. So like all the way into the corner until I'm I'm until I'm to the corridor, and just kind of. You know, make sure there's there's no one in the room and there's no one along that corridor immediately. Uh, doesn't seem to be anyone there immediately. You definitely hear uh, laughing and then clanking of 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 cutlery and plates and shit coming from like around the corner down uh, there. And there's that little sort of oh, no, okay in in that in that corridor. Then mm -hmm. I'm gonna place. Did Daigon give me her hunting trap? I, I just held it out to show you I have it. If you want to take it, then I'll let you take it. Okay, okay, okay. Do whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'll, 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 have, I'll have taken it, and I will place them... I want to place them close to that eastern corner. So, okay. one directly, like, just around the corner on the... Uh, like, right on the corner, but obviously around on my side and then mm. one adjacent to it and back one step if that makes sense yeah sure okay. uh so that they're not you they're not in in sort of line of sight from around the corner okay and i don't ha I, I have rope 
but I don't actually think I have any way to like affix the rope to anything. So, oh, I, I guess I have you can ten tie it pegs. To well, no, I'm thinking I, I wanted to make like a little trip rope, oh. but I don't think it's going to be sort of feasible. A dagger in cracks in the walls. I uh, let me see. Because yeah, but if the walls are like all stone, like that's gonna be, it's not gonna be have much sort of strength. You know what I mean? I know so... Davian in character mentioned traps. Did he mention a tripwire in character? In oh, he mentioned about. Oh uh, yeah, he did. It would have literally just be rope strung across the the hallway. I'll pull out some pitons. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna be able to fucking sit there and fucking hammer pitons into the fucking stonework, like get... without. You know? Well, tell me in character and you'll find out. <laughs> Brooks! What? How are we gonna fucking put this fucking pizza into the wall? Well, we fucking start the fire. And then as they get up and panic, we fucking hammer it in and peg it. If they're already <sighs> that kind of needs me to be in two places at once, though. No, 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 because I will fucking hammer them in it, or I'll... You don't pick someone to start a fire, or pick someone to hammer it in. If anything, I'm probably Fire's better my at thing. hammering. Well, I'll take me fucking pit. I'm, I'm the one with then. the fire. I'm the, well, I'm then, the fire then, boy. Then you start the fire, and I'll hammer these in, because I don't think you'd be able to put these in this wall anyway. Alright. I'll hand him the, the rope. Uh... Let me think. I have 50 feet. I'll slice off a... That big sliver of the corridor. It's only 10 feet wide. So... Cut off 10 feet of my 50 feet of hemp and rope. Mm -hmm. And um, a retreat to the, the, the doors that lead into the, uh, the other room. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna tie each end of the rope to a baton. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait until I hear the sounds of movement. Yeah. Okay. What's my? And then I'm gonna <laughs> hammer the batons like, and I mean like Brooks is gonna like hefty like, fucking just smash him in either side. To be as quick as possible. Um, I'm gonna peek around the corner and ready to move Hex onto the first person I see, so they get disadvantaged with dexterity. Okay. I did want to start making some throwables while he was setting up traps. I don't know how much time I would have had, though. The worst thought. Couple we don't seems. know who's in this room. Like, <laughs> we don't fucking they know. It might be dinner ladies. <clears throat> okay. Evil dinner ladies. If I said, Dutch, that I wanted to take Good one of my leave. whiskey bottles, pour it into four empty bottles, and stuff a bit of cloth in the top of each of them, would I have managed to do that before the baton conversation? Four? I mean, it's not like you've spent there 15 minutes. I mean, like, it's only like a, like a minute, two minutes. That's when Daphne was like, oh, fucking rope. Okay. How Sorry. many would I have managed to do before he two. fucking rope fucking? Two. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will leave two with... Uh... I'll give one to Daigon and one to Elazarin. You're giving me what? Molly. What is essentially a Molotov. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But with whiskey, so. We'll say for the purposes of, because uh, I don't think Molotovs are a thing, but uh, we'll say we use the same damage rulings and stuff for that as Alchemist Fire. Because Alchemist Fire is a, is a d d equivalent Molotov cocktail anyway. Are there uh, lit torches around? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take one out of a sconce. Mm-hmm. And uh, carry it to the door, and I'm gonna set it at the bottom of the door, and using control flame, just just jump the torch flame onto the wooden door, and uh, just kind of I can I can also use control flame to like expand or is it expand? Yeah, expand the flame five feet in one direction, so I could like. Jump it onto the door and then just like spread it up the door really quickly, okay. and and just get that fire going on the on that that secured door. 
and kind of waft smoke underneath so that it kind of catches their attention. <laughs> I'm so upset. Do you want to know why? Mm. Oh, no. Make Even a counter plan. Last week, no battle maps. Oh, I'll make battle maps. I don't know the counters are. Now you're fucking luring the cunts out of the, ba out of the battle map. <laughs> area. So I still don't have a battle map for this fight. You guys are fucking horrible, and I hate you. You know what, Mr. DM? But Dutch, we're being, we're planning. We're yeah, being like a methodical D and D party. Aren't you proud? We're learning. No. <laughs> I was game just upset. to use your battle map. Not my fault. Uninstalled Tales Fire. Um, let's have a look here. A few seconds go by, and suddenly you hear a couple of them go. Fire! Oi! Oi! And you hear just like <laughs> fucking the moment chairs, I hear the panicking. chairs moving. You you hear two people like doof, 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 coming towards the door uh, that is on fire, and you can you can oh, fucking get get that bucket. And and two of them are just actively uh, trying to like put it out. Oh, dude, I'm gonna just be there, fucking stoking it, <laughs> just fucking keeping it, just keeping it going, dude. Expand, expand flame, just. Bread it all over that fucking door from the outside. As, soon as, uh, as a response start. to that, you'll you'll hear them. It's not it's not going out. It's not going out. And they all you can hear just oh, like fuck, Johnny became a cat. A bunch of fucking people just doof, 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 uh, eventually making it so that they're going north to where the traps are. Um, yeah. While I, as soon as I can hear the panic and know mm -hmm. that there's some level of volume, yes, uh, I would like to hammer in the fucking. Baton. Make a strength check with disadvantage. Uh, with disadvantage? Because it's fucking into stone or some shit? Yeah. No, because this fort is so incredibly reinforced. Okay. Uh, oh, that whoa. is... Uh, with disadvantage? Is mm -hmm. it strength or is it athletics? Strength. Okay. Um, it Best is way. a... 14. You slam your hammer on, on one uh, piton, and you can see like the point that you're trying to like put into the wall just breaks, just tink, snaps. Bitch. Uh, uh, at that point, these the, the gonna have traps. guards are gonna just round the corner, two of which just foot in the trap. <laughs> and and they're right. kind of like they're, they're they're kind of like funneled in now. Two people are blocking them because of the fact that they're now blocking they're while stuck, being stuck yeah. in traps. Um, so are they in are they, they in the one... hallway right beneath the number thirteen? Is that the hallway they're in no, right now? Or no, are we? Which hallway did we trap them in? Just for my uh, own clarification. The, 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 northern the, one, right? most, the northernmost one, like that most yeah. north in the top oh. right. That's what I understood at least. Okay, okay. The, got the, it. In the top right, the north door. Got it. Got it. Got it. There's the north door, and then there's the other door that we're burning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got um, it, got it. Okay. Um, I, so I wanted to try and hammer it in as soon as there was noise. That didn't work. And they see Before, you now, by the way. Like, they have visual oh, on. Fuck. Start, they're trapped uh, there. It's a bottleneck. Just start going. I'll give you one. You, 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 you can do one thing. I can do one thing? One thing. Whether it is fucking move back, whether it is an action, you have one thing that you can do. I'm going to use the ring of obscuring. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a fog cloud. Mm hmm. And I'm going to make it so that the fog cloud ends mm -hmm. at the doorway. So they're going to have to step out from fog into like our melees if we're next to the door. Okay. The guys in the traps take three damage and one damage, respectively. Excellent. Respectfully. Lame. <laughs> you okay. take three damage, respectfully. respectfully. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, you use Ring of Obscuring. Eventually, you know, these guys, they eventually fucking break out of the traps, and they just all six of them Oh, it's DC 13 strength save. <clears throat> I can't wait to check, to like four of them come forward. Yeah, no. All six of them bursting out of the fucking uh, fog six cloud. And there's now six guards looking at Brooks and whoever else is in, in line of sight. I think I'm there because he said he handed me a yeah. Molotov, yeah, so I must be nearby. I was, I was around. Not, to literal initiative. 
With woo! Oh, I get advantage. <laughs> you <Yay>! do. <laughs> no. I did great. I did. <laughs> eh. Oh man, I rolled a six. I rolled a pretty 17. a pretty normal number for Laura, but because I'm playing a monk, I at least have a decent initiative modifier. <laughs> but it's still a eh. Oh wait, Hawthorn is here. Hawthorn is here. He got a better initiative. Hawthorn, G. Don't know what I said like that. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? Are I you know. okay? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm scared! <laughs> yeah? We'll see. Oh, God. I can't wait to do all this just to find Valor dead at the end of it. It we is find this to be we a took truck too that... long. No, we find this to be, I get there, the like, lol, here's Valor, but stabbing your chest. Um, okay. <laughs> initiative 20 or more. 25. 22. Ooh. 22. 22. Uh, Quibs. Yarp. Yep, yep, yep. Run. 15 to 20. <laughs> uh, 15, sorry. And I need to roll for Jax because I forgot because I'm stupid. But it'll be bad anyway, so. 15 for Brooks, 12 for Jax. Next. And the 15, anyone else? I got a 10. Hawthorne got 10. Um, I'm, I would assume I am dexier than Hawthorne. <laughs> how, how, what is your plus to dex? My plus is plus four. The stat is 18. Uh, Hawthorne is also a plus four. And his Lame. dex is also 18. <laughs> Lame! <laughs> and it's up to you too. So you go first. first. Okay. <laughs> uh, five to 10? Me. I got six. <laughs> Val got a roll under 10 for once. That's crazy. Did you stop, did you stop uh, is everybody? Yeah. Yeah, because Jack said 12. Uh, so Onu? Oh, Onu. Onu was on Duke's turn. Onu's on, 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 on my turn. Right? Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, okay, in that case, Davian. Take you away. think we know that? We're only in episode 30, whatever. <laughs> six guards dressed in the similar, you know, the, the same uh, blue sentinel get up, so the white plate armor with, with the blue finishes and. They're all just funneled. So in that I was doorway. down. So I was down by the that first doorway, right? Mm, yes. So that puts me. Are they all like right at the edge of that that sort of hallway now? They're all coming into the room with the three beds in it. Correct. So yeah, I can run up. I can run up to the corner and get line of sight and start slinging. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I'll I'll run up to that north of that first corner and um You know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's I'm gonna cast I'm gonna use my bow to cast Entangle. Um oh. at at the center of the six of them. Okay. So that's that strength stage for everyone? Or... Uh yes. You know, it's back in 6020s, can't. Uh, okay. Um. Oh boy. Um. Motherfucker, I rolled really well. That is. What is their strength? Uh, six for oh, a saving no. throw. Natural 20, 16, 21, 19, 24, 24. <laughs> yeah, I rolled insane. <laughs> oh! Okay. Ooh. There was just a cool. little pain on Duke's face. Well, yeah, it's, I, don't know, I don't know what happened. I rolled 60 20s and the lowest was like. They're 10. all in difficult terrain, I guess. Okay, that's something. Um, <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> Where on the it's map only... does the entangle end? Just like it. So I can keep track. Well, I, I tried to cast it, it so it didn't, it didn't hit any of us. So I guess the, the entangle would end like wherever the front. So the guys are stood. Yeah, like where that the hall opens spot. up to the bedroom-ish yeah. area? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. Okay. Okay. With the thing only being 10 feet wide, it seems like a bad idea to run Onu in there to start, like, biting balls and stuff. <laughs> so... Uh... Oh, I was. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I think. Hmm. Fuck. 
That's it. That's going to be my turn. Okay. I'm going to have Owen run up alongside me, and we're just going to vibe. Okay. Uh, Elazarin. I will. If you are to where I can, can I see them? Were they, like, all obscured by the fog still? Oh, no. The... They burst out yeah, of the fog, burst, they uh, and they're all kind of, like, on the... Uh, and... There's six of them, and they're all, they've all entered that bedroomy yeah. type I vibe. will. So they're all on the top um, of the corner of that room, pretty much. If I can get them all in a 20-foot cube... Dude, fucking like spaces and shapes in D and D confuse the fuck out of me. I mean, that's probably Dude. Shapes are confusing. Um, I mean they're right at the end of the corridor, right? At the end that's of the great. corridors, it, it's a uh, ten. Twenty foot, foot cube is most of the bedroom. There's only one yeah, row of yeah, squares yeah, that wouldn't be, be able to get them all. Yeah, you'll be able to get them all. Well. How many of my friends do I get? None. Oh, well. you could position it properly. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I will fairy fire in that. Then. Fucking nice. a million deck saves, right? Yes, please. Uh, oh. There's, he's either gonna roll the opposite of what he did for Duke, or he's also gonna roll the again. Bro. Like, uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. So natural twenty. Natural twenty. Oh. So earlier when Dutch was like, Stop I'm in a it. mood, his dice were too. Uh, naturally, it's funny, and the then... The dice chose violence. 9, <laughs> 17, 3, 13. Uh, the 9, 3, and 13 fail. The three of them nice. are... That's half of them. Verified. That's pretty good. Three of them, three of them, um, you now have advantage against. And okay. then I'm going to back the fuck away from them. <laughs> Yay. Um, I'm Audi. <laughs> I like, I go up so I can see them. Cars are stung, I'm fucking out of here, boy. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Okay, uh, Brooks. Uh, I mean, the smoke's right behind them, right? Yes. Because they've had to step out of it. Correct. So, I'm gonna uh, run forward to the first one. Mm hmm. Which I feel like I was fairly close to that anyway. Mm hmm. Uh,. I'm a hand axe him in the chest. This is one of the ones that has fairy fire on him, so you have advantage. Uh, 21. Hits. For 6. 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. Get fucked. <clears throat> uh, Flurry of Blows. Okay. Gonna try and elbow him in the throat. Go on. Uh, fucking, that's out, bitch. Uh, an 18. Hits. Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Hmm? Uh, so I'm gonna one elbow to the throat, and then with his left hand, Brooks is just gonna uppercut him in the stomach. Okay. Uh, 21 again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I rolled four, three, four on my damage dice. Uh, eight points. Of bludgeoning damage. So you walk up to this guy, hand axe him just in the chest, and you can see the axe kind of like clip through his uh, his 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 armor. Then just elbow him in the throat, which he like instinctively or like as a reflex he goes, Ugh! and then you just fucking. With oh yeah, it's like right hand hand axe into the chest, then pull the elbow, and then as the guy sits back, just step forward and uppercut him in the stomach. Hell yeah, he is fucking. He's struggling. <laughs> He's fucking cool. struggling. Uh, because I flurry blows, mm -hmm. uh, I Blast. get. Yeah, because I flurry blows, I get drunken technique. So an extra ten foot of movement and disengage. Okay. I'm gonna walk into that smoke, baby. <laughs> like a fucking shitty WWE fucking entrance. Do you like wiggle your way to six guy. of them to get into that smoke? Yeah. Okay. I've disengaged. Yeah, and I'm just making I'm sure that I understood that right. Through. I'm questioning you, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, and it's difficult to rain, isn't it? Because of the fucking hit yeah. It do be, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. I just want to be Which out of music? their melee in the smoke. Mm -hmm. Or in their melee right on the edge of the smoke. They won't know. Okay. Uh, one of the back guards um, that obviously saw you go past him is going to turn towards the smoke. And is gonna reach for for one of his uh, for his belt, 
Uh oh. And takes something off and just tosses it into the smoke. Uh oh. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. They've got grenades, boys. Ooh. Ooh, dexterity fuck. saving throw? Yeah. 18. Danger sense. Uh oh. He has a 18. I don't have danger sense yet. I know, so oh. I'm in smoke. I wouldn't be able to see it. True. That's what danger sense is for. You can't see it. You sense it. No. Danger sense is for traps you can see. I believe. No, it's just whenever you have to make a dexterity save. It's traps when you know, like, it's weird. They how danger sense works. You don't have to see it, but you have to know, like, roughly where it came from. You have to have a sense of the danger. Yeah. It's a, it's a sixth Yeah, sense it's an uncanny sense. sense of when no, things you you might aren't on the as they should be. You can see. Yeah. Advantage yeah. on dexterity saving throws against effects that you can see yeah. in such traps you and spells. Technically, you can technically see a grenade exploding in your face. Not when I'm in smoke. He's literally in smoke. He doesn't see shit. Also, yeah, I don't have, have it. So what also, is, I don't matter, have but... danger sense. Yeah, sure. That seems so odd. That's such an odd... I, I wouldn't have given him advantage there, even if he had. Because yeah. that is not... I wouldn't have asked see for it, because I, I can't see it. The whole thing I about... it was like a sixth sense thing. cloud is you can't no. see shit. Um, Grenade you pass save. save. You take half damage, though. Okay. So you take... Boop. Um, so boop. glad this really loud noise just happened. <laughs> He's blown himself up again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the one person I expected to bring grenades hasn't brought any. Uh, 24 half to 12 points of, um... Uh, Is it fire? Uh, do... Piercing damage from the strap oh. just... um, also just point You all just hear grenade. this loud explosion, just... The, the, the hallway kind of shakes a bit, and Brooks, you just... You recognize what just happened, and just, like, manage to duck down enough to cover a brunt of the the shrapnel flying all about that fucking corridor but you definitely just like some of the shards just like just partially go through you but also just like in your in your torso in your arms okay there goes another shirt you said one of the guys right at another the back. shirt <laughs> r.i.p what was that ethan so one of the guys right at the back threw the grenade in yes it's kind of like okay. roll, rolled it into the fog okay. cloud i have a plan for next turn don't worry <laughs> Uh, that is his turn. Like to think um, we all think that Brooks did that grenade. <laughs> We're like, one of the God, one of the uh, guards out. Um, one of the front two, um, one that doesn't have the fairy fire on him, gonna like walk up, limping a little bit. You can see his leg kind of bloody from where the where the trap has like had him had him uh, pinned down. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Davian is not there because he's like down the thing. Uh, Daigon, probably. He's gonna approach Daigon and, uh... Flame. Take out his long sword oh, and go for two swipes. First one is a... 12 plus... What are stats? 12 plus 6. Stats? 18 to hit. That hits. Second one is a... Bleh, 8 to hit. Nope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nuh-uh. -oh. So you take... Um, seven points of slashing damage. Okay. As the this longsword goes down and, and swipes across you, and you manage to just duck down as he goes in for like a second like jab real quick after to like com to combine with that swipe. Did you manage to duck okay. under that? Um. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Jax has a turn now. Get him, old man. <clears throat> Jax is. Going to. Uh, how many? He hasn't got loads of spells left, if I remember. No, he hasn't. That's quite the laughing at. I don't like it. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> don't worry uh, about it. The guy that Brooks Never mind. really fucked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jax is just gonna uh, do whatever fucking Iron Man bullshit he does, and Ray Frost him. Okay. Uh, so, range spell attack. Uh, shit. The, uh, the fair fire lasts, right? It doesn't, like, expire after one got hit. Does that go so. for range attacks as well? It's a, con it's a concentration. It's any attack roll. Okay, so you have advantage. Okay, well, that's good. Um. Oh, double check. That was even worse. Nice. Uh, so, 15? 15 just hits. Okay, perfect. I got a 7, then a 2. Uh, so that is 2d8 damage. 
a fucking spicy 2d8, 15 points of cold. 15. Ooh. This guard just like already just fucked up by the, the combination of, of blows that, that Brooks gave him. This fro this 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 ray of, of just ice shoots into this guy's uh torso and it just and you can see his like plates just kind of like freeze over and crack and he just slumps to the ground dead. You need to chill out. Stop. Anything else Jax wants to do? Um I mean I don't think there's much he can do. Uh, no, he still has 10 HP, so that's him done. Okay, Dagon. Okay, um, the one that hit me, we're just gonna attack him what? with my spear and pop the blade, retractable blade, out of my new fancy spear. Mm hmm. Uh, and is he the one? Is, is the one who attacked me lit up with fairy fire? No. No. Dang it. Straight oh, okay. he's He's up most. That's fine. Don't need it. 19 plus 8. 27. Yes. Yes. To yes, hit. yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I need a D8. There we go. Takes 10 points of piercing damage on the Ooh, first attack. Okay. And natural 20 on the second. Okay. Big fog. Let's Roll. go. Hey. Same thing. But this time it's a 15 points of piercing damage. Fucking hell. Yeah, he's then, also regretting his life choices that led, up, led him to this point. Is he looking real bad? He's looking rough, yeah. Then I'm going to spend a key point for flurry of blows and go for the spin kick with the feet. Because I have on. to hold the spear two-handed to get the other benefits. So. Uh, first one is 18 to hit. Hits. And the second one is 23. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. See, I'm rolling pretty well, but y'all are, so, you know. Yeah. Y'all are. Yeah. are. So the first one is nine points of slashing damage. Okay. And the second one is seven points of slashing damage. As you go for the spin kick. I eviscerate him with my claws. Oh my God. <laughs> you go for the spin kick and just like hear a very, bowels out with my hear a very satisfying Ow. crunch coming from his rib cage. And you then complete the spin. <laughs> And just like that with a claw a out, idea. just kind of like with a claw out, finish the spin and just like rake your claw along his stomach. And yeah. you just like hear this like very scratchy sound as you just go through the metal of his armor and just armor and all eviscerate the guy. And he just holds his bowels in his hands, takes one final glance at you and just <sighs> face goes pale and... Bye bye, bitch. Yeah, dead Aroni. Is there anything else you want to do? I love that, my piece. Nope. Okay. Uh, it's Hawthorne's <laughs> turn. Uh, Hawthorne's gonna shoot at whoever looks healthiest. Sure, man. Okay. Do they, is it someone with fairy fire or no? That's healthy. No. I mean, Dang literally, it. fucking roll. Uh, well, no, but the two that are still fairy fired are all the way at the back. Therefore, it doesn't make sense for Hawthorne to, like, shoot past three people to hit one of them. So I'll just go at once. Doesn't matter anyway, he totally misses. He got a 12. That doesn't that, in fact, totally miss. Cool, he's not gonna do anything. Alrighty. Guard number three. We just saw one of his boys get f Ray of Frosted to death, and one of his other boys get eviscerated. It's gonna surrender. Positioning wise, where is everybody at? Um, I know where Brooks is. I'm still down on that corner. I'm... With Onu. I kind of left the room a little bit, so I'm like, just outside the door, you know, like... Who is inside the room above room 13, right? Me, I think, because if I, I had to kill yeah, the dude. Are. Me. Me, technically, but in the smoke. Yeah, yeah, I know where you are. Jax isn't. Jax isn't? I'm in room 13. You're in room 13. I am he's, in... he's down the hallway. I'm in the, the room above 13. Okay. Yeah, I'm just inside the doorway of the room above room 13. I would assume Kess is nearby, uh, nearby Davian, because Kess is also a ranger, like a ranged yeah. type, right? Yeah. Dagon is there as well. <laughs> I'm a ranger now. In that case, um, this guard sees a couple of range 
fighters, you know, ranged combat enthusiasts, and a dog, okay. uh, <laughs> kind of together, and grabs something from his belt and just rolls it I over do. the floor towards you. I need Onu, Davian, and Kess to make dexterity saving throw. Oh, am I just out of it? Fucking fog. Yeah, because you're not. In Natural the... twenty. Okay. Nice. You're not, in, not in the room. Oh, ho, 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 ho. uh, twenty-one for me. Mm -hmm. And wait, no dexterity saving throw. Correct. Twenty-four for me. Okay. And Onu is beast of the land. Twenty-three. Okay, uh, you all take half damage as you manage to just—you see it coming. You've 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 seen Brooks use these devices, so you know what to expect. And you immediately just duck out of the way, so you only get like caught by shrapnel as you're kind of like ducking and diving out of the way from the explosion. Uh, so you take half damage, which comes down to a total of um, sixteen divided by two, so eight points of damage. Oof, that's still a little. That's smart. For uh, Onu, Kess, and Davian. Uh, and that is his turn. Kess, you're up. I'm, uh... Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast twice at the dude who is hexed, which would be the first one I saw. Or the first one who came through. I'll allow you to quickly move your hex, because the two that were at the front of the pact both died. Oh, okay, cool. Then I can move it anyway. I'm gonna move it to the guy who threw a nade. Okay. Hell yeah. That's 19? It's. And 23. Both hit. So two Elders Blasts. Uh... Alright. What? Fucking. Okay. So what's that chick called? The grudge. The grudge, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <clears throat> As... So 11 force damage for the first one. Plus. D6 hex damage, right? Yeah. Six. Okay. Necrotic. Okay. Uh, and three thunder. Mm hmm. And the second one is nine force damage and three necrotic. Okay. Man, you fire two elders blasts at this at this guard, and they both just <laughs> impact its his his torso. With extreme force, you can see the armor just completely like collapse and dent in. You can, you can see him just like <clears throat> as as the armor just like crunches down onto his rib cage and 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 his stomach. Definitely not a you know the armor was already pretty slim fit, and this has definitely not helped. Um, yeah, he's looking very fucking rough. Excellent, that's it. Okay. Cas guard numero four is going to whip out no he's gonna just run up to Kess and swipe at her twice with his longsword first one is a 21 to hit yeah second one is a 15 to hit no okay. uh seven my ac plus. is so bad dude i mean <laughs> <laughs> Seven plus know. three, so Major ten points of slashing damage from the from the one hit, uh, Kess. Okay. And that is his turn. Uh, another guard at the back that doesn't really see shit because there's people in front of him and there's a smoke cloud behind him. He's gonna just blindly swipe at the smoke because he saw someone move past him moving in there. He's gonna blindly swipe at Brooks twice with his advantage. First one is a thirteen to hit Brooks. Uh, no, it doesn't hit. Second one is a uh, nine to hit. So both of the both of the attacks miss. Uh, nice. I'm, I uh, sorry. I rolled a concentration check because I should have rolled one when the grenade went off. 
Mm -hmm. But I passed. Okay. Otherwise, the smoke goes. All right. Uh, back to the top, Davian. All right. I accidentally muted myself the second I started talking. Good job. <clears throat> uh, is, is there room for Onu to run in and start biting some balls? How much uh, room does he need? I mean, he's a five foot square. I just. Yeah, no, it's a narrow corridor. There's one that literally ran up to you and Kess, but it started swiping at Kess. There's one already. All right, yeah, close fuck it. Onu's gonna bite that man. Okay. <laughs> Painted dog Onu. Can he flank? He can position himself to flank with Kess, yeah. Hell yeah. Can he flank again? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a well, it's a natural four, so it doesn't hit. <clears throat> okay. Um. Fuck. Am I? I'm not in melee with this guy, though, right? Nah. I closed my character sheet as well. What is going on? Are you okay? You having a day? Do you need a moment? <laughs> um. Okay. He's not in melee with me. Is he fairy fired? Uh. Negative. Ghost Rider. Fucking shit. Okay, well, I'm just gonna shoot him. No, I'm gonna double Eldritch Blast him. Fuck it. Okay. Fuck it. Oh my god, duh! Fucking... It's not your dice today, is it? They you should hit. use the dice you got me. They've been rolling great. Just get yourself yeah. some. So neither of them hits. So that... <laughs> Onu tries to just, like bite this guy's balls and just like you can hear like a tooth kind of like chip off of the the, the plate mail that they're wearing and then you oh, try to shoot two elders blast at him and they just like perfectly curve around him and just <laughs> slam into the walls behind man is that your turn yep <laughs> it's my turn. i will um fucking poke, poke my head back around the corner and I will cast Sacred Flame on whatever the one that Onu just tried to attack. Okay. Dick so save. need a dick save, please. Yeah. Uh, nine. No, he fails. Doesn't happen often, does it, Koiba? Uh, no. <laughs> dick save is pretty high. Fuck you. He takes eight points of damage. Eight points of damage as this man just starts to burn in a bright. Holy light. Anything else? Uh, is there anything else I want to do? That's an excellent question. No. No? No, there is not. Okay. Brooks. Uh, the guy that threw a grenade at me is still right on the edge of the smoke, right? Yeah. I'm gonna move right to the edge of the smoke and I'm gonna fucking grab him. Okay. Uh, so, I'm not raging, so I don't have advantage, however, uh, that's a natural 10, so a dirty 20. Ooh, 23. Uh, 23? Athletics, right, for him to defend? Or acrobatics, yeah. Yeah, 17 plus 6, 23. Oh, come Okay. Uh, bonus action flurry of blows, I guess. Um, Can you do that? Don't you have to make a yes. swing? Am I, or am I dumb? Uh, grappling is considered an attack. Okay. As part of your attack action. Okay. Uh, Flurry of Blows specifies that after you take the attack action. Okay. However, I can't. Two oh, it's the bonus yet. action is bopping that requires an actual. Uh, yeah, no. like just just one hit requires an actual right. attack. Okay. But two, for some reason, is fine. Fair enough. All right. Yes. Fl Flurry of Blows. Go for it. Uh, fucking you have advantage 20... because he's very fired, by the way. Oh, uh, 24 on the first one. Yes. Nice. And 25 on the second one. Mm-hmm. For being a fucking wily cunt. Uh, double fours, so 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. You, I... like, just start I'm swinging trying... at him. One one of your blows, just like your fist, just like fucking crushes his nose in his fucking face. You can hear the crunch. Nice. Blood starts to just like leak out, and it's in, immediately you can see like it begins to swell. Uh, and yeah, the other blow, you just fucking <laughs> uppercut him. Uh, 
he's looking a little dazed, but um, uh, I have, I mean, I have fifty foot movement right now and no attacks of opportunity. A lot of movement. I'm gonna move like, like I mean, so where Brooks is right now mm -hmm. is like in the room above 13 but like where it starts to narrow again right yeah like the tunnel the corridor okay i'm just gonna move to the like 30 foot down the corridor and he can't do fuck all about it because the moment i step back into the smoke he can't see me mm -hmm. and i also have disengage because i flurry of load mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay also um, he's a bitch there this guard now has a move and is going to How big is the fog cloud? Uh, let you me move, you move 30 feet down. Are you still in the fog cloud? Uh, it's 20 foot radius sphere, so yes. If it ends... Just about, yeah. If it, it basically, that narrow northern corridor, it covers the entire thing. Mm -hmm. He's going to just try and follow you in, and he's going to try and just swipe at you twice with a sword. With his advantage. So he's just going to guess where I am. Yeah. Eight on the first one. And eight on the second one, so both of them miss. Cool. Yes, no, I'm lying. Uh, Jax. Uh, who's still within Jax's vision? Because he's, like, stood. Uh, one guard is face-to-face -face with um, Kess right now. One of them is face-to-face. -face... about Kess? How dare you? What's up? Of course he doesn't. One of them... <laughs> Wait, no, I can kill that guy. Never mind. Yeah, there's one of them face to face with uh, with Kess. There's two still at the edge of the, the room on the north, and there's one that dove into the smoke after. So there's realistically, there's three in this room that Jax can see something with. Uh, if there's still three in the room, he's going to stay out here for now and just rear for us again. Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh... Uh, whichever one looks more hurt. <laughs> Okay, go for it. Uh, buh -buh, range spell attack. Is the one that looks most hurt fairy fired? Nope. Are any of them fairy fired, I should ask? Uh, yeah. Well, then you'd go for the fairy fired one, I guess. Okay. That's fine, I've said it now, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. Hits. Uh, so... That dies, and that dies. Uh, 13 points of cold damage. Yeah, another one bites the fucking dust. Um, I have rolled. Two, mm -hmm. four. I've rolled nine fucking damage dice this encounter, and only two of them have not been max. <sighs> Cheating. No, uh, yeah, no, very good. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, anything else that Jack wants to do? Um... Uh... Grumble to himself about kids these days. Okay. Dagon, just for reference, there's one eye face-to-face -face with Kess. There's one at the edge of the room towards the yep. tunnel, and one of them that you don't see that dove into the smoke. Um, the one, the second one you listed, the edge of the room, are they far away? Because I realize I still have... Brooks handed me a Molotov before this all started. Mm -hmm. And are they, like, the ones I'm thinking of, like, it's going to eventually blow up because there's a rag, and the, it's, like, it's burning down, like, I need to use this thing before it... Yeah, no, on me. Nobody's lit it yet, so Oh okay. as part of the throwing it, I guess you light it. It's just alchemist fire essentially, yeah. so I don't know how to light it. I, a dagon There's a door on fire. That is not in the room though, so she'll have to move. That's that's tree, down yeah. far away. I need to yeah. like it's fucking far away. I'm just gonna keep it and my spear's in my hand anyway. I basically my my, my my thinking is I just like tucked it in like the waist of my pants or my belt when I got my spear, so it's it's just there. Um, I'll go for the one that's near Kess because it's this probably close by. Yeah. Take it out. All right. Hopefully, first attack. Oh, whew, it was almost a natural one, and then it changed. Uh, twenty-one hits. Uh, first attack. Oh, almost max damage. Spicy. Uh, twelve. Points of Ooh. piercing damage. Okay. And then spin it around and go again for another stabby stab because I have two attacks. 
15. You do. 15? Yeah. Just hits. Hey! <clears throat> Less good that time. Eight points of piercing damage. Okay, looking pretty fucking rough. And then I'm not going to spend a key point. I'll just do my normal monk single unarmed strike bonus action. And go for a really solid kick. Oh, 19 plus 7. 26. Yes. Uh, come on. Max damage. I want to kill two with my kicks. That That is not max damage. Um, Seven points seven? of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. It's another very satisfying crunch. Yes. <laughs> Another one My crumbles and falls. Feet are deadly weapons. Yeah, they are. Fucking hell. So that means that there's two left. One within your vision. One dove into the smoke with Aberrant. Or Aberrant. I keep calling you fucking Aberrant. Aberrant? <laughs> Fuck. That guy's fucking dead. Brooks. Fuck. Uh, so only one of them you can see, pretty much. Um, anything else, Dagon? Nope, I'll just stay there next to I don't to know why, like, I've now. called everybody by their second campaign characters. The only person that I slip up on is you, Ethan. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, Do you want back to his first campaign Brand character? Brand Brooks, close enough. Uh, Hawthorne. Um, it's gonna shoot... How many people are left? Two. Only one that Hawthorne can see. Oh, okay, then it will just shoot that one. Uh, we'll he has advantage anyway. because he's very fired. Hey, let's see. Natural 20! Oh my god. Woo! Okay. Yay! Gotta fuck all still up. Still only one damage go. though, right? Because it's not, not a roll. It's just yeah, it so... one damage. <laughs> it's still one damage. Uh-huh. Is it a con save? So wouldn't it be double to two? Because it's a natural 20? Nope. It's no, technically roll he rolls 0d0 zero zero plus one. Uh, oh. Much, yeah. Yep. Um, um, D10 con. D10 con. Let's see. What do you what do you mean D ten con like roll a D C C ten con save okay but uh that's uh that's a natural one so oh he's asleep oh, oh fuck <laughs> Good job. asleep okay. is just a stepping stone to so death, one of them is a it just falls asleep on the floor and the other one you cannot see because he's in the so smoke there's one in the with, in the, with, the fog books. and one asleep. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, is that Hawthorne's turn? Yep. Kess, you're up. Uh, uh, well, Hawthorne, it doesn't make any difference because I'm just going to, like, fire a witch blast up and do. So. You'll have this advantage. Or actually, it will be straight roll because you're still fairy fire. Yeah. But... And I'll oh, move Hex sleeping. to the dude. Kess can't even bring it upon herself to stab a guy. She's just going to arrange a sleeping man. Yeah, why not? Um, So that is... Asleep 20? and fairy fired. Sorry, uh... Bell, what did you say? 21. It's... My bad. And... For the second one, 26. Both of them hits. First one is... Oop, that didn't... Man didn't pray. Eight force damage plus. Wait, one hold, 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 hold. Because they're asleep and therefore technically unconscious, mm -hmm. any attack that hits a creature is a crit. So all of your dice rolls get doubled. Hey. So both 16! And force damage and two necrotic. Okay. And then three thunder. And. <laughs> Another 16 of force damage and 12 necrotic. This guy is just like fast asleep on the floor, <laughs> and you just literally you fire two Elders Blasts. They impact this guy's head with his helmet on at the same time. You can see the helmet just <laughs> completely collapse into the face, and like a whole bunch of blood starts leaking over the floor. He's not getting up, he's permanently asleep now. Hey, he's, taking, he's taking is... a very long rest. Good. Yeah, because sleep is unconscious, therefore every everything that hits is a crit. Mm. Okay. Uh, speed through that. It is now back to Davian. There's only one enemy left as far as you're aware, and you don't see him. Lame. Because he went into the smoke with uh, Rooksy Boy. 
Uh, do I? I mean, do I know that he's around? He's, I guess, around that corner in the smoke. Yes. Can I just like send Onu in there and hope Onu runs into him to attack him? Yeah, uh, that will be straight roll technically, because even though he's obscured, he is also fairy fired, so that cancels out the uh, disadvantage. All right. And that's a natural two. So I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Sounds, <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Hey. Bye, man. If I run up to the corner, I can't see anything through them. No, you see smoke. You see smoke. No Onu. No Brooks. No Bart. <laughs> Just smoke. What the fuck? What do I do? I don't know. What would Davian do in that scenario? Dude, would he wander into fine. smoke with no idea of what's in it? I mean, he can fire an arrow, chance of one and three, that whatever he hits is the right one. He can ready fucking shoot him. Shoot yeah, but if I, I mean, if I fucking shot Onu, I wouldn't hear the end of it. He could ready an action until he sees an enemy. He would do speak with animals and I would be like, well, this would be fine, you know, other than when I'm getting shot by you. <laughs> like, every three fucking uh. seconds. Fey Dad is hitting him. Luke. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ready. I'm gonna ready a fucking Eldritch blast for when I see an enemy, and that's it. Okay. Elasrim. I'm not gonna walk up to the edge of the smoke, and I'm gonna hold an action for if I see an enemy, I'm gonna stab with my rapier. Brooks. And hold Davian's hand. This one man that's still on the, the smoke Kirby. with me. Mm -hmm. Would he happen to have anything on his belt? Even if he did, how would you be able to tell? I mean, I saw him before I came in, right? Maybe you see him now, you prick. True, that's fair. Okay, well, fuck it. Uh, I'll drop Fog Cloud. Okay. With that said, that you see an enemy now, uh, Davian, because the Fog Cloud yeah. gets dropped by Brooks, so you can. Your Elders Blasted, you're ready. You can just fucking send it. Hog. The guy with the I can shoot him both, right? Because it's, yeah. it's one yeah, action. Yeah. He's not in range to stab for you, Elasrin, because he was further down the tunnel. <laughs> but, uh, I'm like, no! Definitely I'm a blast gonna... range. <laughs> <laughs> Empty my balls of pee. I'm so mad, dude. I missed again. I, got I, mean, I don't think, I don't you think your balls beams? where your pee is stored, but you know. Did you roll Hold for on. both of the beams? No, 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 I didn't yet. I didn't yet. Okay. But I also accidentally closed my character sheet again. <laughs> oh and I'm my god, really are you okay? Not having a good day. <laughs> the pee is still in the ball. It is. Well, the other one's a natural fucking six. Today. Like, what do I do, dude? Uh, <laughs> if the milk is in the. the <laughs> natural eight, natural six. So, with my spell attack, that's a 30, 13 and an 11. Oh, good. No. Damn, crazy. Oh, you're going to use the D&D Beyond dice. Doesn't he have fairy fire? Oh, he does. You have advantage. We could have seen him the whole time. Okay, now, okay. He makes light. Yeah, but he's okay, only but smoke, but so I, is I, that, I, I it's cannot. It's not like he's invisible. It, hold on. It's, it's fog. It yeah. would be dispersed. Is the six and the eight going to count for one attack then? Or I'll is it going to be... I'll be generous and let you re-roll because I forgot to tell you that he is, has fairy fire. There. Well, you've, you. had a, you've had a rough session so far, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, you give him that, but when it's my arm drinking. Drinking him, <laughs> shot. Anybody, anybody hear that? Oh, here we go. Sounds like in, in, for these attacks, I have rolled six, seven, an eight, and a nine. Are any of them going to hit? So the nine is a, is a 14 to hit. Just misses. Like, like... I seriously rolled six and eight first time. Oh, advantage seven nine. Like, what is going on? It technically got better. So... Unlike my crippling depression. <laughs> Just have a cup of tea and go for a walk. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. So. Be happy, smiley face. Sling an elders blast. <laughs> Echoing through the tunnel. He was too eager. Brooks, you've dropped fog cloud. Does this man have anything on his belt? He does. How many? One. Just one? Yes. Okay, then no, it's not worth it. I'll just fucking... 
I'm just gonna hand axe him in the throat. Go on. Advantage, because he's fairy fired. Uh, Me next. 18. 18 hits, yeah. Sound like. Uh, nine points of slashing damage. Okay. And then I'm just gonna bonus action headbutt him. Go on. Uh, <laughs> D&D, ladies and gentlemen. One of them's a natural one. The other's a natural 20. Hey! Okay. On the crit? smallest damage dice possible. So, something. Yeah. Three, six, ten points of bludgeoning. Ten points of bludgeoning damage. He is looking very rough, man. Three, six, nine. Um, uh, anything else? Uh, no. That is my turn. Okay. Um... He's going to look at you, Brooks. He looks back and sees both Elazarin and Davian kind of like ready at like the edge of the hallway. He's going to take the final no. thing in the bob from his belt and he's going to roll oh, it towards Davian prick. and Elazarin. I need he's Elazarin gonna leave and Davian melee. to make the exciting saving throws. He's going to leave my melee? No, oh. he's chucking oh, a nade. He's just rolling, rolling a it. thing on the ground. Yeah. I thought you said he's going to walk towards. Okay. No. No. Dex save. Next save, yes. I mean, I thought you meant he was gonna pull a Brooks and like blow himself oh, God. up. So did I. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going with that. I considered it. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve? Goodbye, Elasrin. So long. Well, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna have to move into this fort. And we're gonna have to frame the smear on the wall that used to be a last so that we can go no. back to him. Like 25. 25? Oh! I, I fucking finally take half think... damage. The last one takes full damage though. I finally think, oh, you know what? I'll move up forwards for once. You know, I've got this cool sword. I'll use should've it. Should've domed. No, I should've just not fucking walked up. I wouldn't be in the range with it. I should've just stayed at range. So it's a 6d6 damage roll, right? It's all good. Four out of the six were a six. Oh. I should have pulled the pin on the grenade. So uh, if, there, if there was two, I would have done 26, 27 points of damage for Elazarin. 13 <laughs> for Davian. You're alive! With really? one health! <laughs> Dutch, just reroll one of the d6s for me so that you can kill Elazarin. No! That's oh, a six now as well. That's, that's five, I six, really six, six, just, roll. That's I four. really just want to, out of spite, hellish rebuke this guy, but it's not worth the Do spell it. Slot. No, do no, it. It's not worth the spell slot. <laughs> okay, that's his turn. Uh, Jax. Oh, my word. Um, I mean, Jax has just seen the grenade. Mm -hmm. but the actual dude's around the corner from where Jax was, right? Aye. So, I Jax is going to walk up. Uh, fuck. Uh, yeah, Jax is gonna walk up. Uh, his full movement. My man's still there. Um, I don't think Jax, with 30 foot, he's not gonna be able to get into melee with him, is he? Because <clears throat> he was down by, like, the bottom set of doors, so far. No, no way. Just about, just outside of, out of his reach, yeah. That's fine. Uh, he will... Fucking... Walk. He'll just shoot across. Mm. No, he'll ray of frost. Okay. Ow. This guy still fairy fired. Aye. Ah, uh, well, wait, it's concentration, right? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah well, that's right. DC 13. Yeah. Spicy. Okay, uh, I failed, I passed, I got 15. I fail. So fairy fire still up. <laughs> What's uh, good number? I fail. I'm just, I'm just uh, assuming I'm gonna fail every time. I'm just, I'm just like, used to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just using uh, Twenty-one to hit. Yes. It's a bit real, actually. Right. This is two d eight. Do I need to roll it? Yes. It's ten cold damage. And with that, the Woo! final guard falls. And before we get to searching around, looking around the rooms that we have here, or searching the bodies, whatever the fuck it is, Breaky. we're healing. We're gonna quickly go for a break. Uh, and um, hopefully next time a fight breaks out, I'll be able to use the combat maps that I've made. But no. one got made completely and utterly. I got a new D20 this time. Don't so. worry. We can use that combat map when we go in to check to see if they left any porridge. <laughs> sure. Um, we'll be right back, gamers. Stick around. 
new round here, hit the follow button and all the good stuff. We'll be back after the break. Real song. Hello, new phone. Who, Hello. Who, 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 who? New phone. Who this? Who you this? can't even finish your sentence. New this. Who phone? Hey guys, we're back. Hello. Hello there. Um. Okay. Let's just fucking jump right back into it. Was Killed that, some that people. Was, that was a, a lot longer break than normal, right? What the? What the frick? I think it was taking ages. Come on. I'm sorry. I had to do all the care shit that. That, that he didn't do before though. stream. Didn't ask for your fucking yeah. life story, mate. Um... Oh, you whinged? I gave an exam. <laughs> uh, uh, I gave a reason. For <laughs> your fucking life story, mate. Come uh, back. Anyway, um, okay. Cleared out the guards in that section of the fort. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Just pick it I right want to look under the beds because people hide things under their beds. Make like an investigation check. I don't <laughs> want to search them all. I just want to go over the bodies and look to see if any of them have grenades left. Make an uh, check. 17. You find one loose gold coin that happened to roll ah. in at some point. Lame, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I, I'm going to just have a look around the room, see what's around. Okay, well, um, as in like seeing what's around, there's a bunch of crates kind of piled up against the wall in, in room 13 proper. Uh, a couple more boxes in like that top right corner of the corridor. Um, the tables just have like half-eaten meals on the plates still, and that's and that door is still on fire. Like that, <laughs> that door, the right door in room thirteen, yeah. still on fire. Well, yeah. it looks like our job here is done. Should we move on? I got a fourteen, Mister DM. You find one grenade. Fuck yeah! Oh, I'm marketing that. Oh, I I also go back to Brooks and give him the unlit Molotov and like raise an eyebrow, go like this, hand it back, like you you want. No, you can keep it. It's fine. I can make more. Just literally just light it and throw it at someone. I'm okay. gonna get my traps and give... Well, I know one of them is Dagon's, but can we put them both in the bag of holding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go for it. Well, uh, no. No, no it's no, full. We put, we put two no, chests full. You can, you can only fit yeah, fucking heavy, like 20 pounds each. They're yeah. 25 pounds each, yeah. yeah. You can put one okay, trap back, well, that's Dagen the way it was, and that's when the can take bag was back. full. I'll fucking... Uh, unless I open I'll, I'll give Duke his 10 foot... I'll give Duke his 10 foot rope back. No, no, I don't want 10 feet of rope. What are we going to do with 10 feet of rope? I mean, I can... Do you want it. an adult answer to that, or...? <laughs> it's not bondage safe rope, okay? I mean, if you... I don't know if that any exists rope within is bondage the rope, but... <laughs> Are you about to say bondage safe rope doesn't exist in D and D? I don't That's know if it's lie. something that Dutch has like planned for in his homebrew world. I don't plan it's for fucking anything. I suppose silk you use thing, right? silken rope. Some I don't people plan for like the feel, the scratchy feeling of yeah. Some people rope. are into that. Anyway, <laughs> fine. I'll keep my ten feet of rope. Whatever. <laughs> uh huh. Uh... I mean, we've got the other node of it. Mend it. Oh, go hmm. ahead. Forty and a ten. Oh, cast mending. Uh, fifty wow. for rope. Hey, fifty for you are away. Welcome. Are you right, that Okay, I think he started okay. speaking in tongues. Oh, so, head, um, head. Are we heading to fourteen, or are we heading back yeah. to that central? Room and down. Okay, fourteen. We've got to go. Yeah, yeah, but it's good. I'm having a stroke. Hello, help, help, yeah, help, yeah. help. Yes, I believe we should go down. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, you go down. You find another empty dining area. A few shelves in the southeast corner. Uh, to the south is a bigger uh, set of doors, and uh, on the east side of the room is a smaller door that leads to anything interesting on the shelves. Uh, some light reading, a couple of books, um, with subjects varying from certain, like, uh, tactics, tactical, like, like, battle type things, nice. but also the occasional, uh, you know, fiction. You look really I hard. I don't know if I consider the, the art of war light reading, but, you know. Uh, you know, and, you know, Depends some fiction books as well, it. but also, you know, you know, if you look really, really good, you know, a bit of smut in there as well um is it smut that i don't already own 
You own every <laughs> smut book under the sun. No, this one's a fan fiction AU of a different smut series. I think, like, if I uh, remember correctly, Brooks has uh, the can I do a quick... Lusty Dragonborn Maid. <laughs> and then a historical sort of smut book that I gave to a Lazarin. Master and Commander. That then was given to me. Yeah. Because <laughs> I already read the historical one. Yep. Um, can I just do a, like a very quick like flick through to see if there's anything like weird about the books? Like the see if the books are what they actually say on the spine. Yeah, no, they seem cool. they seem like books, and they seem like what that the the content of the book it makes sense no with hidden, the title. No hidden flasks or hidden no. yeah, saying, yeah, levers. Like, or... no. You're looking for pictures? No, I was just making. It's very common for these type of people to hide things in books because who's going to look through a tactic book in a keep? You apparently. They're all yes, soldiers. Exactly. What do you mean? Who's going to look for a tactic book? Don't. Not many read. <laughs> you just get told how to do it. <sighs> do you read a lot of hunting books, Davian, or tracking books? I've read my fair share of books. Okay. No, but I'm saying specifically of what your job is, <laughs> what you do best. Do you um. Need to a couple, like you know, they tend to no be like. No, is the answer then? <laughs> no, like <laughs> yeah, no. one or two. No, 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 no. Uh, so, uh, they, uh, well, no. I think the word you're looking for is no. I could be wrong. When I, I was younger, no. you know, there were certain written things. But not that now. You no. Know. <laughs> so yeah, I read a couple books to make sure I knew. You got to know what berries are poisonous, and most of the time, the best way to learn that is not by eating them. It's by Listen to the guy who ate them, them before you, or the guy who wrote the book who ate them before you. That sort of thing. You know? I just, I got just forced a... to read a lot of books about arcane stuff. I Although... signed a guess. I'd love to read a book about my astral stuff. I'm kind of just going off of hearsay from my one tutor. And the further along I get, the more questions I have. And he's dead now. Can't really ask. I mostly go off hearsay. I remember a few things I read, but then I started, you know, putting pages in different books and mending them together, so it got a bit confusing. What? Like you mend the wrong bit of a page? Yeah, to... I would like take out point, like sections from one book and then put them into a different book that I had taken the section out of and then mend it so it was part of the book. I thought the mending spell only worked to restore things to their original state. It wouldn't allow you to mend it to something no, that's that the was not it. Feywild magic. Feywild's crazy. That's you literally not how that works. Stuff. That's not how that... It wasn't the med... No. Well, I mean, hey, I, I wasn't go... the one casting it. Hey, I'm gonna look through this door. <laughs> hey, Which one? I need the books interesting to me. Um, There's a tactics book. There's nope. a really he there's um some other really kind of boring ones. A really heavy nope. smart. Some other yeah. other bits. Okay, I'll take yeah. that. <laughs> there you go. As, as the... Brooks reaches for it, I go to reach for it too. <laughs> I kind of don't think I just look at both of you, just kind of. Yeah, just we, we both handle the book, it. and I just deadpan stare at Brooks. I wanted to it on. Nod, put it in my bag. What was so the name of that you book? You just found yourself a copy of Orcane Romance. Orcane Romance. Oh, fuck yeah. Nice. That's a good one. <laughs> I like how, because of our fascination with smut books, Dutch has now had to, like, just make fucking fans. <laughs> there is Reddit threads galore about smutsy <laughs> book titles for in your yeah, DD yeah. game, so trust me. Is, I is, it, is it a young orc wizard <clears throat> getting it on with some arcane being? I have to read it to find out. I want the audio book version, Mr. Dutch. Yeah. Huh? Um, which store oh, were you going to check out? Uh, the one on the, the the small one on the on the western side. No, it's yeah. east. East. I I know what I meant. Um. <clears throat> okay. Oh, the laptop upside down. Fuck you. Uh, you <laughs> open the door. It's not locked, and it's just another empty bedroom with abandoned beds. Do same again. Under beds, under covers. Nothing. Do the same thing. Cool. Leap. I'll go. I'll leave and I'll go. Um, the cell phone. If no one else is opening up that one, the southern door seems locked. Yes. Yes. No specialty. Excellent. <clears throat> I'll go and unlock it. 
I think I'm just gonna stick around with the last one in case he gets fucking twenty-two. Again. Twenty-two. Yeah, that door is your bitch, and you open it. <laughs> swings okay, open, bro? and the room inside is uh, it's a it's also a bedroom. But there's a desk uh, set up against the wall with some paperwork uh, spread around it, and also a larger bed in the corner of the room instead of a one person. This Wait, seems to be a double kind of situation. I'm gonna quickly drink a potion of healings. I've just remembered on one health. Lol. Mm -hmm. Go for it. <laughs> Is the okay. is the paperwork interesting at Jackson. all? Make um make an investigation check. Jackson is going to go over to Elazar and be like, "Are you? Uh, do, do you have many resources I left?" I have a bit, and I cast coins on myself. <laughs> <laughs> investigation twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. Um, you go around and you find one piece of paper. Mm hmm. That are written. That is that takes your interest. It's written in common, mm. as in the letters, the alphabet that is being used is common, mm. but they don't make any words that exist. <gasps> oh, there's a, a secret code. There's a secret code. Secret it's a, code, what, what are those code. called? Like cryptograms or whatever, yeah, where the letters gram. actually represent That's other letters. Yeah. yeah. That is fun. that is that is the idea here. Yeah. And without yeah. the key, they're, they're really fucking hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, do we get do we get to see it? Like, can we? Can uh, I don't have it prepared, but uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, man, are we gonna get to decipher a fucking? But um, there, it seems to be. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, I'm dumb. One, two, three, four, five, five lines. It will have like. Word dash word, like string of letters dash string of letters, and that then like five five times in a row, like just from top to bottom. Yeah, it's almost like a correlation. Are there like drawers on the desk? Hmm. Are there drawers and things on the desk? Yeah. Uh, I want to have a look through them. Uh, go for it. You uh, you roll investigation already, so you you check yeah. out the whole desk. You find another small coin purse with twenty gold in it. Ooh. Um, but nothing else really of interest. Hmm. Um, Can I drink room. a potion of healing real quick? Of course. Koiba. I'm a Hello. need. I'm a, I need Koiba here and not another Lazarus. Um, Hello. How deep would you say a Lazarus? Mm, how long was a Lazarus like? vibing with these buddy, people buddy. before he got um second I think thoughts. Act actively buddy buddy probably not that long in the sense of probably like at most a month but like part of the organization in that sort of like had been going to meetings and shit had been taken along probably like a good couple of years we'll say that you know that this is code you've seen this yeah. before you've never been taught how to decipher it but you do know that this you is how it. they communicate uh when there's like certain things of importance this is if they 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 hate writing things down because it leaves a, yeah. a fucking paper trail. So when they feel like they have to, they do it in this way so that it means nothing to anyone besides members yeah. on the inside. I'm gonna <clears throat> drink a healing potion, by the way. Yep. Like we all just remember we've just had combat <laughs> and like looks at carrot sheet. Oh yeah, fuck. Wait, it's yeah. one. Do you guys still have potions? I was gonna say I'm yeah. out. <laughs> I don't know what you. I had one greater and one minor, and I've used my greater and I just <clears> used my minor. So yeah, Elijah, you have you, you see this document okay. and you're like, I will. Yeah, this is what I'll, they do. Yeah. I'll relay. I'll just sort of be like, well, I don't know much about this document myself, but I've seen, I've seen this before, but I, I was never taught the uh, how to decode it. I recognize it's definitely something they do. Maybe mm -hmm. it's high importance. Do you have any idea where we might find some kind of cipher? If we find Valor, he'd know. Right, we better keep it on us then. And find him alive. I mean, it's always something we can try and crack later. I mean, who knows if it's of importance to right now, because it might be, but best bet would be valid know how. He'd probably teach us how to look out for it in the future as well. Or at least start to. And if all else fails, it's a fun puzzle. <sighs> yes, I, I can't wait for this document to be super just benign of like, hey, by the way, he's on, they're on their way. 
Definitely have to keep it down the down though. It's the type of thing to do. <clears throat> well, glad we cleared out this area. Let's um keep moving. Okay. Back to that main corridor, I guess, mm -hmm. and head south. South. It's south, following the yeah. <clears throat> trail of blood that uh, Davian mm -hmm. noticed. Yes. Mm -hmm. They definitely Love tried to clean up, but trail. we're a bit yeah. sloppy here and there. Uh, that eventually brings you uh, to a large, uh, empty space. Who's leading the pack? I, as we got to like the that top room where we first off went in that first like cross path, mm -hmm. um, I would have said to Devin, um, do you think you'll probably track the blood all the way down and see if there's any more split paths? Yeah, I mean. It, Oops. it seems Throwing my dice tray. fairly straightforward, so I guess I'll be kind of leading the way, Onu kind of sniffing along the floor at the same time. I'll yeah. be like next to Devian, and okay. I will um, give him Vision Blessing again. Ooh! I can do it. I've done them two times. There you go. Okie dokie. Um, are you, like, really actively looking for traps or anything, or...? Uh, I mean... We're going. We're going out of room fourteen into the main room in south, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going 14, down that really 16. long, skinny hallway. Yeah, I, I, I'll be looking for traps along that corridor. Yeah. Make a perception check. Perception. Oh yeah, investigation. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh, one was a natural one, and the other one was a dirty twenty. Nice. Okay. You find pressure plates. Okay. Oh. In your path. Just, just kind of sitting there, unsus unsuspectingly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'll point it out and skirt around it, I suppose. Okay. There we go. If you want to look at the um... oh, <gasps> battle map, battle map, battle map. Eventually. Uh, no, it's gonna. It's not, not eventually about it. Um, you <gasps> enter a. Pretty large space um, going around the pressure plates you find yourselves in this like square room uh, with two exit points either going like 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 south um, southwest or just straight south as you enter the room though you hear the same scratching but this time much louder that you heard before Davian oh I don't like that as the two statues in the room Mm. I gotta move. Come alive. Oh, good. Can I? Can I duck back, like, and push someone in front of me? <laughs> no. Who are you gonna be, push? you prick? <laughs> no, no, no. You're to my side. I'll just swap with Dyke real quick. Just like, whoop. <laughs> Let's push a melee fighter up front. <laughs> There we to go. a stone statue. As these two stone statues, the way obviously the the icon doesn't really do them justice because that's just yeah. the, the 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 thingy. What are they called? What do the statues Tokens. look like? Um, these are white stone statues of 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 tall men. In this case, wearing detailed and intricate armor with a lot of carvings and intricacies all around, and the eyes of the statue glow a faint blue as they just as soon as you enter the room they come alive and just oh, kind no. of like scratch their way over the floor and i would like you guys to roll initiative where's onu uh, oh true hold on yep no you right. have terrible eyes there's onu i forgot onu hold on uh, i don't need bill more for this i can just fucking with the advantage on my initiative both times i've rolled two dice okay. one within one of each other <laughs> Welcome to the house of fun. Oh no! Oh. There we go. Boom. Okay. Oh no, was there? Comma vicious. <laughs> yeah. Um. There we go, baby. Map time. Uh. All right. T. Turn-based mode. I would like to have any any 20 pluses for initiative, please. 
22. 22? Davion. He's got 22. Yep, With so a plus eight and advantage. Basically. Having a pretty good time. Koiba, what are you doing? So we got Davian first, then what? Who's next? Uh, 15 to 20. I got a 17. I also got a 17 as Brooks. Which one of you has the higher decks? I'm uh, 18 stat. I'm 16. Yes, yeah, so it was me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 10 to 15? Mm. 14. 14. 5 to 10? Both Hawthorne and Kaz got 9. So we'll go Kaz then Hawthorne. Doesn't Hawthorne have the higher decks, technically? Yeah. I mean, Actually, I, you're right. but, I mean, I'll say that because he's your boy. You can probably yeah. tell him to just fuck off and go second, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, this Jax. fella also had a nine. Right? Yeah, huh? what did Jax get? I don't know. And Lazarin? I got 14. Lazarin's gone oh, already. It is just Jax. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, natural one for a total of minus one. For a total of zero, <laughs> Jax minus doesn't fight. One. <laughs> oh, okay. minus one, yes, they go too. Jax retreats backwards the whole fight. He just back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> boom. With that said, Davian, you get to go first as these two stone golems just slowly um, make um, towards you guys. Fucking Christ. I really don't want to go first. Uh, Let me see. Two stone golems. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Seduce them. Seduce um. <laughs> Seduce them. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Uh. Yeah. I'm going to double eldritch blast the closest one right now. Okay. Go for it. Oh, one is a dirty 20, and the other one is a 15. Uh, one hits, one misses. Okay. The one that hits mm -hmm. is going to get my last, I think my last charge. No, I have two left. Of Imbu Elemental Power, it's going to get one of them's. Okay. So it takes an extra D8. Um, and is the, is the other one within 10 feet? Of it? 5, 10, uh, technically, yes. Technically, yes? Okay, so can that one also make a deck save, please? Of course. Two. Perfect. Okay, so the first one takes seven points of damage. Oh, I should split that up, I guess. Two points of force damage, five points of fire damage. Two points of force, five points of fire. Let me quickly have a look. Uh... Doesn't matter. Cool. Okay. Seven points of damage. Cool. And the second one takes three points of fire damage as this fiery uh, Eldritch Blast strikes the first one and then sort of arcing finger of flame leaps out and sort of lashes the second one. Hell yeah. Um, and with my bonus action... I don't feel good about this. <laughs> but That's fine. No, I'm gonna hunt his mark. I'm gonna hunt his mark. The closest one. Okay. Guys, Hunter's marked. Can I just change his color real quick to be like, oh he's Hunter's Mark now? Is that the thing I can do? Face color. Yeah, before anyone me. asks. Boom, Hunter's Mark. Before anyone asks, Hunter's Mark only adds damage to weapon attacks, so it doesn't matter that I did that afterwards. Yeah. Okay. So you turn? Yeah. Dragon. All right. Um, I want to get uh to the back. If I'm in the back corner of the room, that far back right corner, because mm -hmm. reading my spectral arms thing, if I attack specifically with those spectral arms, they also give me an additional five foot reach. So I'd be like 10 foot. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I could reach that guy from that back corner going sure. diagonal, just one square than another? All right. So I yeah. super yeah, quick yeah. and my agile cat likeness just like leap over Davian. Well, Davian pushed me in front of him, so I was technically in front yeah, of him anyway. Yeah. This is just, just like, run to I the back the, corner. I put the things there, not knowing the yeah, watching yeah. order, right? So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And while while Davian's hurling his Eldritch Blast, I get to that back corner, and then, oh, actually, hang on. 
within t I can see within 10 feet of me. I have mm -hmm. 40 feet of movement. Oh, one, two, five, yeah. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, I lied. I want to get to that square, the right, like move, him, move me down three more squares. And I can still do that. And now I'm going to pop out the arms. So they both have to make a dexterity save from the force radiating off of my spectral arms ah. as they appear with their ghostly panther fur. Dice down, dice down. Uh, dice down. Natural 20 and uh, oh. natural 2, so that's a 1. Okay, so the one that fails... Mm -hmm. If we get updated character art, Daigon's got to have the fucking arms coming out. Have the arms like, in the on. art? Oh, That'd be dope. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, Do I have to have a stab wound in me? Two rolls of my martial arts die. Just a soul okay. blade. No, but you have to. So the one that failed, Dutch, mm -hmm. takes nine points of force damage. Okay. Bad man. Bad, bad man. And now I'm going to just start laying in um, a, a jab jab with the spectral arms, uh, specifically to the one whose back is to me right now, who's been who's hunter's marked as well. Okay. So, because I don't, the logic is. If they were statues, using my regular arms might hurt me. So use the ghost arms, and then I don't bloody up my own hands, is Daigon's logic here. Sure. Um, first one misses. That's a natural three. Yes, that misses. The, I rolled the same thing twice! Okay, ah. well, the ghostly arms... Yeah, the ghostly arms miss. At least one of them took some force damage from yeah. my thing. Uh, that's my turn. Brooks, me boy. Wait! Uh... Right. Probably now about to get wailed on by both of them. Five, ten. Hmm. With my fucking... Okay, with my full movement, mm -hmm. would I be able to get down to a point where they're both within 15 feet of me, but uh, Diagon isn't? So I would have probably tried to stay out of their melee to get down to about there. Yeah, 15 feet means that Diagon is just out of it. So this one is 10 feet away and this one is also 10 feet away. Uh, if, so if I... How much movement would I then have from being there? Oh, I was muted. Ha -ha. 5, 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Use 30 to get there. So I have 10 feet. Okay, cool. Um... Uh... I'm going to use my hand axe to thunder wave. Okay. Uh, so they need to make con saves. Con? Mm, uh, 24, 17. Okay, well, they both pass because they're con. Well, they're statues. They're probably they're, they're pretty, cunt. <laughs> okay. pretty sturdy. <laughs> You're not wrong, and I understand that logic. However, I very rarely get to do it, and it's quite a bit of damage. <laughs> I know. Even if they fucking make the save, right? So. Oh, what else? Uh, so, thirteen thunder damage. Even though they made the save, that's pretty fun. Yeah, it's two d eight, baby. But the save is just for the push, I guess. Then. No. Oh uh, no, they'll take half on a success. So. I rolled 13, so they take 6. And they're not pushed. If there are any unsecured objects around me, they're 10 feet away. Like a loose like floor tile. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is a thunderous boom for 300 feet. So everybody in the... And, and they mama know where you are in the fort now? I mean, yeah, like... Okay, good If to know. it was a stealth mission, I wouldn't have used it. <laughs> That's why I didn't use it earlier. Oh, my fucking nose, dude! Um, the allergies? No, just itchy nose. I don't know why. Oh. I mean, nothing else I can do on my bonus action without spending another key point. And I feel like there's going to be more fights. Don't know, lad. We're not going to have chance to fucking. Uh. And we're not going to have chance to fucking uh, b b b short rest again. So. Unlikely. Um, I'll move forward one just so that I can give Dagon flanking for her next turn. That's it. That's where I'll end my turn. 
Elazrim. Hello. I will uh just go in go down to like the left hand corner and then like down two squares. Here? Yeah, and then I will uh cast Sacred Flame on that one that's right in front of me. Okay. Dex save thirteen. Uh fails. Uh, eight points of the radiant damage. Eight points of radiant damage. All right, team. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> hmm. And that will be it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Be it. Yes. I'm going to move Hex to the one that is not Hunter's Marked. Uh, and then I'm going to fire two Eldritch Blasts. Hex, a nice purple. There we go. And it's disadvantage on con. Okay. Two Eldritch Blasts from where you are. First one is a 26. Hits. Whoop. Second one is a 19. Also hits. That is 10 force damage plus three necrotic and three thunder. And then eight force, no, 12 force damage and four necrotic. Crazy to me how statues aren't immune to like necrotic or anything. It's just everything hits them. Crazy. Uh, okay. This this Are they technically this a construct. Sorry. Are they technically a construct? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Just good to know. Um, <laughs> just good to know. This you this stone know. golem oh, just like you can see the, the 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 stone starts to crack a little bit and 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 tears start to form across its entire being across its entire body. Is that Kess's turn? Which one was that? Was that the red base or the purple base one you mentioned that was cracking? Uh, purple. The purple one. Purple base. Okay, cool. Uh, yes. that's it for Kess. And then Hawthorne is going to fire at the Hunter's Mark one. Because why not? Yeah, go for it. Nat uh, not natural. Dirty 20. Hits. <clears throat> uh, DC 10 con with disadvantage. Is it? Nope. No, it's not. Never mind. The it's not, not saving throws. Uh... 19. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so that's poop poop. All right. One damage. One damage. Hell yeah. Uh, stone goal number two. So this one. The multi attack, and it's going to slam one fist against Brooks and one against Daigon. Bitch. Brooks, that's a natural 20, buddy. Uh, he's a bitch. Uh, no, it's not. Jax is going to use his fucking reaction. Oh, okay. To cast Silvery Barbs. Reroll that bitch. Uh, that would be not be a natural 20 anymore, but it definitely still hits because it's still That's above fine. 20. But As long as it's not a nat 20. Uh, uh, let me quickly just see what it is. It's Jax a like? 26. Um, me. Davian. Oh, never mind. Fine. <laughs> Uh, Davian, next, next time you make a, a ability check, attack roll, or saving throw, you get advantage. Hell yeah. He probably needs that more with how he's been um, rolling today, so that's fair. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Take 14 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage, Brooks. <laughs> On the non crit? We... On the non crit, yeah. As you just get oh, fucking oh. this large statue just <laughs> slams his fist just like into your entire being, oh. and then it turns. To Daigon no. and just winds up another fist to do the same thing. Daigon. Don't even think about it. Dirty 20 to hit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he thought about it. Uh, he thought about for it. 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Just. Okay. So he does Daigon. Let's see. Uh, that's his turn. This fella. Is going to cast Fire Breath. Fire Breath. Fire Breath. Fire Breath. Okay. Mm. 
gonna look at you two. And you can see its mouth starts to open. And towards nope. both Brooks and Daigon, it's nope. like gas escapes oh, and it kind of no. like surrounds you. And you both need to make constitution saving throws. He laughing burped gas? on us. Is it laughing gas? He burped on us. Let's make a con save. Find no, out. I rolled a six. 21. Nope. 21. Uh, you make the save, uh, Brooks. Daigon, you are slowed. Oh. Which means that... Uh, you can't use reactions, your speed is halved, and you can only make one attack on your turn. Dude, slow uh, isn't addition, even a condition in D&D Beyond. How in addition, rude. the targets can take either an action or a bonus action, not both, on a turn. So not I just only became you... so boring! Oh, not boy. only is your attack action only one attack, you can I also have no bonus. You can't... Either, I, I mean, you can, choose, you can choose either bonus or action on your turn. Yeah, but then she can't bonus action attack unless she's attacked. True. So she only gets one attack a turn instead of four. Yeah. Unless I specifically... No, because I can't even flurry of blows because you have to nope. do an attack first, so I can't even do it. Nope. Yep. <clears throat> you get okay. one attack a turn. turn instead of four. Jax. Like you're moving in molasses. What the fuck was that? Uh, me. <laughs> Ethan, it's Jax's turn. Uh, Jax is gonna. I mean, fuck, he hasn't got much left. He's gonna move up to the dickhead that's pounding on Brooks and Dagon. And he's gonna activate his fancy Thunder Gauntlet. Okay. And he's gonna swing for the fences. Go on. Uh, that is oh fuck me his fucking modifier to that's disgusting mm -hmm. uh 17 17 yeah just hits okay uh that is it. 11 points of thunder damage okay and then he's gonna uh, bonus action two weapon fighting swing again. Natural twenty. Oh. Uh, that is a five double ten plus fifteen points of thunder damage. Alrighty. And yeah, that's all he can do. Okay. Davian, back to you. Ugh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. With uh. Big boy number one. I would... Mm, yeah, okay. With him adequately distracted. Uh, the Hunter's Mark is on. I'm going to shoot him. Go on. With advantage because of the uh, Silvery Barbs. Is that what it was? Yeah. I believe so, yes. Which is a 21 to hit. Hits. For... We got... Do, 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 D8 plus D6. D6 is cock. 10 plus 3 points of, uh, I guess, mag some kind of magical piercing damage because of the, um, mm -hmm. the longbow of entangle. Yeah, so you can also see on this this golem as well, it, it's it's starting to crack and like part pieces of rubble are already like kind of like falling off of it. And, uh... Odin's going in. Go on. In some kind of flanking position, hopefully. And he's just gonna have at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's good. It's 16, 16 plus 6. So 22 to hit. That hits. And he's going in with the. Oh, he's a, he's a freaking dog now. Uh, you do be a dog. So it's 1d8 plus 2 plus 3. Five, eight points of slashing damage. Okay. He did, I don't think he moved. He moved far enough to knock it prone. So that's. Oh, did he move at least twenty feet? No. Ten. But you can. I don't know how much moving up. You can. You can make him do that. You can do a little like. You can rev up and like then come in. Sure. Yeah, and then so he can make a. 
He takes an extra 1d6 slashing damage, first of all. Okay. Uh, so that's another two points of damage, and then it must succeed on a strength saving throw. Does that work on creatures? It doesn't matter about size, okay. so... Yeah. Strength save? Oh, no, it's if the target is a creature, so... It is a creature, yeah. It's yeah, a, con okay. a cr construct is a creature type, creature it's construct. a creature. Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking, like, is that... But I guess that means if it's not a door, you know? Pretty like, much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so strength saving throw. Strength save... Um, I mean, these guys are pretty fucking strong. Yeah. Um... They could not one. Exactly. Twenty something. 20 yeah. Okay. He saves. Two. You know, we go for the. Uh, what's the little fucking imp's name? Why can't I remember his name? Hawthorn. Hawthorn. The Hawthorn approach. Yeah. <laughs> Just pray to God. The DC's low, but they might not one. <laughs> yeah. No, fair. Fair. Is that your turn? All right. That's my turn. Yeah. Dagon. Um, I'm torn. Cause part of me's like, I can still with my movement especially with my feline agility get to a place where only one of them can hit me but i also think that would provoke an opportunity attack and i can't bonus action to step of the wind and disengage and still attack because you are slowed true <laughs> and look, um, look, just like, you know, try gentles, and... make your base a certain color because you're slow there you go you're green yeah there you go. Nice. i'm just gonna fucking fuck it at least i get advantage attacking this guy right because there's so many people yes, yeah, around yeah, him so i'm just gonna go for because i'm slow the spectral arms rather than the quick like jab jab we just go for almost like a slow <laughs> wind up right hook <laughs> yeah <laughs> got one. Oh, oh one of those is really bad uh uh dirty 20. it's all right i need to roll high here i have any hope of being useful fuck almost as low damage as i could do Six points of force damage from my okay. right hook. I mean, it's something. It's some. Um... Like the cracks that are already on on this golem just start yeah. to spread further and further, and it's it's. And not I can't looking... take a reaction, right? When I'm slowed. Correct. Moving's a dumb idea because I'm slow, especially if I feel like I've been slowed down. It makes it easier for him to hit me if I move out of his melee range. No matter what, so I'm just gonna stay there and. and... Panic internally. As okay. bonus action. Free bonus action. Panic. Sounds That's good. Panic. Brooks. I'm also going to panic a little. Okay. <laughs> um, That's not a good sign. <laughs> Brooks is going to stow his hand axe. Yeah. Okay. With the, the common sense in his brain of slashy stabby, do less to stone than punchy punchy. Sure. And unlike Dagon, is not against ruining his knuckles. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to punch it. Go for it. Uh, 23. Hits. Good hit. Uh, I... Where's my D4s? Where's my D4s? Where's my D4s? Oh. Where's my D4, yeehaw. Fuck. Um, five points of bludgeoning damage on the first one. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to hit it again. Go for it. Send it. Uh, 18. Uh, yeah, hits. Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Anything else? That's my turn. Elazrin. I will, uh, how rough is the people, how rough are people looking? I'm almost bloodied. I'm like a hit point or two off from being bloodied. I am not bloodied yet. Oh no, it's bloodied? Okay, then I will, uh, <laughs> cast Secret Flame on the purple. On the purple purple yeah. X, he's almost he's a goner soon. I can't believe Purple Boy's the most fucked up when Red Man's surrounded, you know? I have nobody I didn't say that that was the case. Those oh. are assumptions that you guys are making. Uh eight. Oh yeah, fate fails. Uh, he takes ten points of radiant damage. Epic fail. Okay, okay. Ten points? Damn. Yep. Actually a good roll for Sacred Flame. Yo, 2d8, and I've rolled 8, two. 8, 10. <laughs> can, trip, can trip do level up? A little bit above average. Let's go. Yarr. Okay, okay. Anything else? Fucking no. Okay. Yes. Eldritch Blast. Which one? The the purple one. Okay. Just stunned blast. <laughs> 26. Hits. The first one. And... Eight, no, 19 for the second. Both hit. Okay, we got it. 
12 force damage for the first attack, plus two necrotic and three thunder. Okay. And nine, no, 13 for the second with uh, four necrotic. Okay, both of these golems cracking and and pieces of rubble falling off they're not looking too too sturdy anymore hawthorne is gonna shoot the purple one okay why not (laughs) hawthorne gets the how do you want to do it with one one point of damage 25 that hits con save for a million though so that he doesn't fall asleep can't fall asleep anyway because it's a fucking it's a fucking Comp- it's a statue but you know roll it's anyway social construct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shut up one damage okay golem number two which is red base oh yeah yeah there's a lot of a lot of boys around them a lot of a lot of gamers um, a lot of boys a lot of boys guys being dudes mm-hmm. yeah it's just gonna go for two slam attacks um mini 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 mo gonna roll d4 twice and see what happens don't hit that again. Only a D8 existed. Uh, Brooks. Yeah. And Jax. Oh, good. Dagon's fucked AC right now, so. Brooks, yeah. natural 19. So. Surprisingly, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, six, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, I'm, I'm bloodied. Stupid. Anyway, Jax yeah, yeah. is a 16 to hit. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. I could have tried to stunning strike them, and then it wouldn't have been hit. Although it's a con save, and they're pretty constitution heavy. And I and also, do statues have key have key that you can interact? That's before. true. I don't think they would. This boy is going to. How much movement do they have? 30 feet, just like any other normal creature. Oh. Actually, fuck off. <laughs> yeah? No need. Wait, There's would, no need. Would, would whoever, whoever the bottom left icon they uh, could, red they guy could, they is, they've got an attack of without, opportunity? They, they could have gone around him without. Oh, I've got yeah. enough movement. Dang it's it. Just... I tried. There's two, no need for this. Two this fists for it. Lazarin. This is actually a hate crime. Uh, that's a 16 to the first one. That is my AC. That is my AC. <laughs> There's no need for this. What? Uh, is my AC. Of damage. Oh, yeah? Cool. <laughs> Are you dead yet? Because you were no. not full. Oh. No, Second one's a 19 to hit. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. There's no way. Oh, no. It has to roll low. Uh, eight. Minimum damage. Motherfucker. Are you out? I mean, I'm unconscious. Seven oh health. no! That was the minimum too. Oh man. Seven was. Oh. I had seven health left. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Right, there was no need for this. It's got bullied. Maybe you should have healed yourself more. Um. Yeah, it's this guy's turn. Jax. Fucker. Uh. Also, are most of us out of healing potion? Only. He's the cleric. I've been, uh, been sitting on my you. spell slots. I'm looking at You're Jax. Sorry. Um, he's just gonna hit it again, I guess. Oh, okay. no. Mm. He doesn't have any spiders ah. left to save the Lazarid. No, fuck. Oh, it's fine. We've got ages until it's their turn again. I'll, I'll oh, roll that 20. No. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on, lad. Uh, go on right now. You want? He's gonna leave the thing's melee to go to a Lazarin. I, that do provoke an attack opportunity. Well, I'm natural wouldn't. 19, so that's 20. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Jax's AC. That's a yes. 13, 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. As Jax oh. just like turns around before he steps far enough away, mm. one fist just boof, slams oh, him in the back. Oh, it's a bad time, fam. Okay. Is he, is he going to a Lazarus? He's going to a Lazarus. Uh, second level kill Williams because it's his last spell slot with the fucking spider. Okay. Uh, 8, 12, 17. Nice. And then... 
bonus action to gain five more temp HP. Okay. With his armor. Okay. And uh, that's his turn. Davian. I'm gonna. Mm. Has Red Boy used his reaction? He ha probably hasn't. He just did. He so just did. He had the attack Jack's of opportunity. The when Jack's fucked off. Oh shit! Well, in that case, Onu is <laughs> Onu is gonna circle around and come at him again. Okay. Uh, again, I guess flanking with Diagon so that he can get the advantage as well. Sure. But yeah. Uh, oh, and it's uh, a natural sixteen plus five or four. Nice. Uh, plus six, actually. So twenty-two to hit. That hits. And he's coming in with that extra d6 from the the charge. So it's uh, d8, d6. Plus five. Oh. The ten points of slashing damage and a strength saving throw, please. Um As oh. Onu comes fucking running in, barging at this golem, it just crumbles and <laughs> glasses onto the floor. Uh and okay, in that case. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna go double Eldritch Blast. Oh, actually, wait. Let me just double check if I can move. It's another bonus action to move Hunter's Mark, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. In that case, double Eldritch Blast at the Purpleman. Okay. Go for it. With a natural twenty for one, and a twenty-four on the other. Yeah. There you go. There's the dice rolls we needed. There we go. All right. All right. All right. So. <gasps> Why am I going for God again? <laughs> Koiba! Give the cloak to someone else. So, Koiba, <laughs> you know when I told you earlier that I wasn't going to remind you because it'd be funny? <laughs> oh, no. You also forgot, Ethan. Don't lie. <laughs> Literally, no. what happened oh, was I got I got healed. And I just looked at my character sheet because I'm fucking like looked at it properly. I just looked. And I just yeah, see clearly. the item there, and like <laughs> write it really big somewhere. Put a big ass sticky <laughs> note on your monitor. Hell, like <laughs> well, if, it's all, if it takes up half of your screen, no, because I'll ignore it still. I'll be like fucking it's in the way, and I'll. Duke, what? Why are you like this? I'm rolling my damage. This is the first one. This is the crit. Yeah. Come on. It's a 10, baby! 20 <laughs> points of force damage. How do you want to finish my off? ass? Hey. Oh! Yay. Fucking hard. just blasting it through his rocky, uh, rocky exterior. And then the second one is going to fucking go in and just blow him into to little tiny smithereens. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'd like to think this happens at the same time. So like you're Eldritch blasting the fuck out of this guy while Onu is making the run up to fucking attack the other Hell one. Yeah. And they just both crumble at the same time. And that is uh, the fight over. I um, stand up. Dust myself off. <laughs> sway my cloak a little bit. <laughs> and just Golem kinda... crumbs on the tunic. Yeah. Like fuck that, that hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could say the same. Oh, I fucking sucked. Not so bad. How are you looking, Brooks? How's Brooks? Looking? I am going to absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like three teeth that come out. I will give him a level one kill wounds. We don't want. Ooh. Eight point for eight points of damage. Oh, oh hang on, oh, I'm steady. I'll um. I'm I'll, still bloodied, but I'll treat. It's better. I'll it's... treat Elazrin with a little bit of restorative ointment. Oh, I'm not that. Ten. I'm technically not bloodied, so I mean, I don't give a shit. Okay, I like you better than Brooks. Uh, he got some earlier. <laughs> In fact, he got two doses earlier. Fair enough. Of the restorative oh, ointment, sixteen points of healing. Wow, you wasted you... Uh, four of that. You know what? Wow, that's, okay. a, that's, that's a what a yeah, large percentage move. of that. Yeah. Did it's you a use the, restorian, the restorative ointment on me, or did you give it me? 
No, I used it on Give you it twice okay. uh, after the first the fight at the gates when you oh, were yeah. chugging potions and just being stabbed to death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To to keep these guys in so they could get in stealthy and then they fucked it anyway. And I'll I'll, I'll use my last charge on uh, on Brooks again. We did not Actually, fuck it anyway. Wait, How how's Dagon looking? I'm almost bloodied. I'm almost at half. I'm 29 out of 49 hit points. I'm 27. I'm bloodied. You're on 29. At I the mean, moment. I can. I, I, te I technically, I think, that is my in character can only really that go off bloodied or not. So yeah, yeah, yeah technically, Brooks I'm bloodied. Again, and it's uh, 11 points of healing for Brooks. And the healing. Do we? Does he have to stay? <laughs> <laughs> how, how much did you say? Sorry, ten. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the furniture at this point. I'm no I'll keep the empty bloody. jar. I. Yeah, look at the group. So which way do we think uh, Val is going to be then? Look, <sighs> I, I point at the blood trail. Yeah, if it's yeah. visible yeah. still on the ground. Make a make another perception check, Davian, since you're the one that like, kind of like picked that up. Can I? Uh, can I? Uh, no, my. Uh, no, can I go? 22. 22? South. 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 So the room 16 on the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we need to get to Valor quicker. Quickly. Especially if we're running low on everything. Yes, I think we can afford to go the other way just yet. On the upside, we're really well stocked on alcohol. Oh, good. Oh, goody. We can I celebrate. I think that's only good for you. Oh, we can celebrate later. Why is that only good for me? I don't mind a drink now and, now and again. Yeah, if we run out of healing potions. Oh no, if you run out of healing potions, alcohol is the next best thing. That, I'm assigned to guess he has a point. Things hurt it. less when you're drunk. I mean, there's like several different like routes that you can chew on or like herbs that would probably actually be the next thing. Okay, thing. when you run out of healing in general, alcohol is the next best thing. Tourniquet, splints. I don't trust anything Brooks says yeah. about good advice. You're coming from you, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna start heading I have an excuse. south. No. Um, I'm not listening to them bicker. I'm gonna pet my dusty boy, and we'll we'll move on <laughs> south after, uh, after okay. dragon. Uh, I'll, I'll, the I'll double doors south of the well. room with the golems lead into a room with a very large statue, uh, again with that same motto inscribed uh, along the base. Um, the base. Um, you can now see base. way more clear bloody drag marks across the floor that lead to a door. The puddle of water and a kicked over bucket next to it, uh, towards the south again. This is a statue of Tear again? Oh. Uh, no, this is a statue oh. Oh, of, of some of kind guy. of probably you figure you reckon some important figure in Blue Sentinel history that is just oh, being okay. depicted here, Where, okay, wearing the emblem on the chest it? and everything. Huh? Do any of us recognize the figure? Does any of you have any like Blue military Sentinel. background? Actually, yes. To, I guess, kind of, maybe yeah, but not. Blue Sentinels hail from the Empire. And ah, from yeah, the other side, they came so. over. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think. Totally if only that. this was last campaign. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Bran, any... Bran would know him. <laughs> Brooks, however, any... Brooks has no idea who Bran is. <laughs> it's whether that's the statue of Bran this whole time. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Raven Queen was busy giving him the strength. I say, Br Br Bran is too busy pleasing the Raven Queen in all the right places. Um, nice. So yeah, the bloody drag marks that like kind of lead to this southern door. Uh, there's a, a puddle of water on the floor and a kicked over bucket. Anything else of interest in that room? or No, uh, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll just go... Sh I'll, as I'm going, I'll check for traps. Make an investigation Fucking check. The water out. seems real weird. Yeah, that's why I'm like specifically noted. Gashiones. Well, you know, maybe they were trying to clean 18. up the blood still, you know. Maybe. Eighteen. Maybe he kicked it over while he was being dragged. Don't say kick the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> that, what what does that mean? Oh, it's a way of saying that someone's I just go like this. Oh uh, investigation check allows him. Eighteen. As far as you can tell. No traps. <laughs> <laughs> no 
Mm -hmm. Hi ho ho, off to the fucking door I go. Okay. Uh, do you open it up? Do you just fucking push it open? Yo, is the do is the door crap? Dude, Eliza like slides up to the door, microphone. takes one one <laughs> step into the puddle and just goes <laughs> like straight down into the puddle. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a sinkhole. No, I vicar yeah. dibly it and just jump straight in. <laughs> Make another investigation check. Uh, twenty-two. Does not seem trapped. The fucking open up the door. How do you do that? What what sound does the door make? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's the, water, it's the water with the hinges. It's the water, it's the water with the, the hinges. The door and the rolled rolled yeah, because yeah, of the water. Yeah. And, the door, and the door goes open. Um, this room... Um, it's weird. It's a weird one. Um, <laughs> it is a weird one. There's like an entry path, uh, and there's like this weird, like... Not weird, it's just like a piece of wall and columns that kind of rise up from the floor to kind of put a bit of a divide in the room. Um... You can look past it easily enough, though, to see a group of four guards uh, oh, standing at the ready. Um, Were they waiting? Be vigilant, blessing, quick. <laughs> one guard, looking uh, not wearing a helmet, uh, as opposed to the other three. Um, this this helmetless guard, uh, very strong-looking uh, woman, um, human in 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 nature, uh, <clears throat> short blonde hair. Uh, wielding a longsword and a shield. And uh, just kind of like draws her weapon as they as, as they all uh, see you. Took you long enough, Elazarin? You know, I was taking my time exploring the um, exploring the place. Like what you've done with it. Love the bloodstains. I mean, really just lightens up. And I kind of start stepping backwards a bit <laughs> to sit, maybe not be the front person anymore. Just kind of... <laughs> Yeah, it's really great. What you have. I really love what you've done with. So anyway, so yeah, so what's quite good about what you've done here? Is... <laughs> with a sigh, I'm gonna stand in front of him. Can I have visual blessing now? Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> who's next Why? to me? Brooks. As I'm walking backwards, who's next to me? Well, Brooks would just stand in front of you to block you from them. So... Oh, Brooks, vision of blessing. <laughs> Legitimately, Brooks, Brooks just looks at the Lazarus back in the and goes, oh, All right, I'm just stand okay. in front of him. And I just go, as you do that, I go, Thanks. And I touch you on like the arm and give you vision of blessing. <laughs> Great, so now I can get the shit beat out of me first. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. It's what you're best boys, at. I've got a grenade. Oh <laughs> my god, he does. Oh no. <laughs> I'm no. about to see this man run in and hold this grenade up. Drop we've... it and then run back. <laughs> so yeah, forgot... it is a disco. We Drop forgot to confiscate it. <laughs> the discotheque. Discotheque. <laughs> this is my favorite song. Uh, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, pow. <laughs> no, it is the Venga Boys. <laughs> the Venga Boys. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I would like oh, to guess yeah. all initiative. Fuck it. Oh god, oh, this is just all combat. No. We have another battle oh. map. We have another battle map, so there is that. Oh, I got a cool roll. Natural 20. Hold on, hold on, relax, relax. Numbers, numbers. Numbers, Vigil numbers. Blessing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? Yes. You cocked me. How? <clears throat> I got a cobra roll. <laughs> nice, man. I'm gonna give it to me, because I rolled a natural one. I mean, I'm not much better. I got two twos. Okay. Uh, two twos, now nah, it's the remix. Did I get a natural 20? Yeah, for a total of 24. Boom. Anyone else 20 plus? No. <sighs> 15 to 20? 19 for me and 16 for Hawthorne. Above 10, yay. Uh, 15 for Jax as well. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold look on, at him go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> Yeah. Michael, what, got, I rolled a fucking 17 for Jax. Rolled for myself with advantage. Two twos. What does what Hawthorne <laughs> roll? Hawthorne was a 16? 16. 16. Okay. And what did you Chess say, Brooks? 19. Uh, Jax is a 15. Boom. Boom. 10 to 15. 14. Okay. Wait. Yeah, no, that's correct. Uh, 5 to 10? Five for Nine. Brooks. Nine. But one. How much for Brooks? Five, but um, Davian's is a natural one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a nine. 
Should have led with that. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a nine. <laughs> it's a natural one plus eight. Is that everybody? Yep. Uh, In that case, Ty can... Is, is Elsa nil here? No. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Could you first. Just, like, for us? Um, would you say, Dutch, because we came straight here, by mm -hmm. leave at your discretion, has it been less than 10 minutes since our last fight? Yes. I still have my spectral arms! Woo! They're still here! How many minutes has it been? So I know how many rounds to keep track of. Five, whatever. Five? Okay. You have more than enough time left to survive, to, to do this, complete this combat, because the combat rounds only six up. seconds, yeah. so like, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. Because you, so went, that's literally, you I left, have 50 that, rounds left that room, with walked my arms across left. another room, into this room, yeah. so that's all that happened. Okay, so I have like 50 rounds left with my arms. Dope, dope, yeah. dope, dope. Okay, um, which one of those four um, people is the douchey blonde lady who was talking to Elazrin? Uh, This one. The bottom? Okay, um, there, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, hold up, I'm doing sketchy tabaxi monk math shit. Oh, fucking hell. And, 50. <laughs> Which of the icons? I, I'm right there. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Okay, I can't get to her. But what I can do, so I just counted, is if I do key point for bonus action, step of the wind. You're, for, you're 45 feet away from her. But that's going straight through. I, I get an attack opportunity from this guy. Right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Ah, that's still 45. You can, you, you'll be diagonally against her. And you'll avoid any attacks of opportunity. Either way, with normal reach. Step of the Wind and Feline Agility, <clears throat> you can move a I can feet. go the long way and go all the way around and get behind her without seeing anybody. You can literally fucking... Do like three laps around this shit and then still basically yeah so you want to so, yeah here? i want to get behind yeah i want to get there i can do that thing she runs, <laughs> the, runs around the other side around the earth and then comes back <laughs> to the all right um because i'm also assuming my slowed ended at uh, the fight it didn't last, yeah, last like a minute. it's not last a condition minute, that okay so. okay um uh, and then yeah. we're gonna try and punch her in the back of the head with my spectral arms it's a bit fucked up okay Oh, almost, but not quite. That The first one is only a 12 to hit. Mm -hmm. so that's going to miss for sure. Let me have a look-see, and I'll tell you. Uh, ba 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 can close the golem sheets. Need to keep this one up. Those both suck uh, ass. Yeah, that definitely misses. They both suck ass. My second one, I rolled even worse. That's an 11. Oh, yes. So, that do yeah, be missing. So, I was still swaying from how speedy I ran over here. I misjudged the depth perception. I fucked it up. Mm -hmm. But that's my turn because that was movement and my bonus action was the step of the wind to get here. So okay. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. I'm going to bonus action move Hex onto her. Captain Lady. Okay. Wait, uh, and yeah. hit her uh, twice with Eldritch Blast. Gentles. Wait, what's the range on Hex? Hex is 90 feet. Okay, you'll be fine. Oh, you got this. You're just gonna stay put where you are and just fucking. Yeah. Because I believe yep. Elder's Blast is also like 90 feet, right? 120. Ah, oh, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. Okay. Uh, 19 to hit for the first one. Misses. <gasps> oh! That's 20 for the second one, though! That does hit. Oh, um, a 19? One of the beams oh. is like, she just like God. instinctively puts her shield up and it just <laughs> slams into the shield. She lowers it and just kind of like smirks at you oh, God. and then gets blasted in the face and then <laughs> as a response to that smirk you just fucking <laughs> the second beam just fucking <laughs> across the fucking face 18 plus um uh 22 force damage plus 12 necrotic and three thunder Fucking hell, alright. She does not look happy. Um, is that your turn? And <laughs> that's my turn. Oh, it is now her turn. <laughs> and she 
There's a bunch of cool things. No. Um. If it's another charm effect, I quit. It's not. Oh shit, that's fucking sick. Um. <laughs> for now, she'll whip out her long sword and just take two attacks at you, Daigon, since you're right there. Oh. Um. Yep, here it comes. I have regrets. This is a bad plan. 18 to hit on the first one? Yep, yep. 23 to hit on the second one? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that would be... Shit rolls, though, so you locked out in that apartment. Uh, eight... <laughs> 12 points of slashing damage. Total? Or on the total, first one? Total. Okay. Oh! I am definitely bloody now, though, fam. Mm -hmm. It has happened. Ooh. That is her turn. Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne is going to shoot the god, like, closest to the group. It's, far it's, it's, right. It's, 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 oh, lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <gasps> I just threw one of my guys. Good job. Okay. Dirty 20 to hit. Yes, so it's one point of damage and a con save. Yep. Uh, 13. Ah, uh, he's fine. That Hawthorne's turn? Yeah. Alrighty. Jax? One damage. Whoop. Um, well, shit. Jax is pretty tapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, mm. Uh, he's gonna move 30 feet. And you have a mace forward. or something, you know? I mean, he has uh, gold, 30, but 30 he feet gets him right here. And then the one that's closest to him in the like bottom right, mm -hmm. uh, Ray of Frost. Oh, yeah, uh, 24. It's Shit rolls, uh, four points of core damage, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet. Okay. <clears throat> is that a turn? Aye. Lazarin. Can I move? So uh, I can get Daigon within 30 feet of me. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Actually, 5, 10, 15. Oh, basically near where Jax is. Yeah, he has to if be. you like squeeze him with Jax right here. Yeah. 20, 20. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'll, as an action, bring up the dome. Okay. Yay! The dome! I will then a bonus action spiritual weapon. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> spiritual oh, weapon oh, next wait, to the captain. Wait, wait, wait. You made something. a spiritual weapon? I knew I forgot something. Uh. Uh, uh, constructs. Uh, uh, <laughs> bam. Hammer. Fancy. Yeah, hammer. I'll put it next to the captain lady. Zip. Right here. And it will. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do. Okay. Uh, and I will uh, attack with it. Go for it. Roll attack. Get her. That's an 18. Misses, unfortunately. Again, shield goes up. Boom. <laughs> 18 misses, cool. Yeah, 19 misses too. Kes said that earlier oh, and I was like... Ah! 19 just missed. Oh, yeah, her AC is 20. Okay. Plate mail uh, and, and fucking that's shield, my turn, baby. And I will get... <laughs> fucking... Give cool. me hit points. I get I get 11 temp hit HP. Ooh, okay. Max, oh, yeah, it's at the end of my turn. Max. I'll get the hit yeah. points, right? I, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. So it's going to be a while. But all right. I, it'll get there eventually. You'll get there. I'm still checking to make sure I did... Do that right. Because it's been a while since I've used my sanctuary. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Guard number uno. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I saw that one comes. coming. It's going to go yeah. for a Lazarin. Like, that's yeah. that's fucking what? target number one here. Quibba, the thing. I've got my cloak. It's a fire. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, does that mean disadvantage? Or what does that have Advantage. Yeah. Yeah. He remembered it. Kind of. Natural 19. Yeah. And natural 5. So the Fuck. cloak actually dodged, made you dodge an attack. <laughs> so he just swings his sword 
at you the first time, and your cloak just like starts flapping around, and he's kind of shit. He does go for a second one though. It says it's advantage. Uh, natural one because of the disadvantage. Ooh. So yeah, misses both attacks because of that cloak. There you go. <laughs> wait, number three. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? Isn't what? it they only miss once the cloak makes them miss once on one been attack? Hit. It's once no longer. Been, no, no, once no, I've been no, hit. Once I've been hit. Once I've been hit. Okay, okay. That's all yelling. So basically, time he could have in theory used the cloak and missed every single attack today. Yes. This one's also no. going to go for you, Alastrin. I got the fucking cloak. I'm gonna back away. Holy but... shit, dicks! 12? <laughs> yes. Clover at the start of the fight. I'm gonna 15? back away. Miss. Oh my god! Yeah! Away. I'm gonna walk forward. Well, I was gonna walk away because I walked the first point. Now I'm walking forward. My I'm... turn? Yes. Ah, uh, bitch titties. Uh, two guys in front of Lazarin, right? Yeah. Well, and Jax, technically. I'm gonna... Uh... Shit. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Try and move... Behind both of them. 5, 10, 15... Mm, like here? Yeah. Zip. Um, I'm not gonna draw my hand axe, I should specify. Okay. Um, I am going to attempt to grapple the guy in front of me. Okay, so... It's a 27. <gasps> How much? 27. 18. Cool. He's grappled. This guy's grappled, let me just quickly just fucking give him a nice little fucking... No oh, grapple. Boom. Whatever. Uh, he's grappled. Mm -hmm. uh, bonus action. A flurry of blows. Go on, lad. Uh, uh, dirty 20 on the first one. Dirty 20 hits. Uh, fucking 18 on the second one. Also hits. Uh, for a total of... Uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Not too shabby. <clears throat> Is that your turn? I. Brooks, you get 11 points of temporary oh, HP. Yeah. Go. This guard. Gonna... Feels like Captain has it under control, so it's always gonna 5, 10, 15, 20. Step... Uh, it's gonna avoid your melee, obviously, but it's gonna get its way to Jax. I'm gonna take two swings at Jax. Is this the day we get Soko killed when he's not even here? <laughs> no, Jax would be fine. 18 to hit Jax? Nope. 19 to hit Jax? Just. Okay, no. Uh, 7 plus... 10 points of slashing damage. Uh, okay. And that is his turn. Davian. Because Jack's getting any temp HP. Oh my god. Am I getting no, a turn in combat? Turn. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay. You got a turn. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Just came in. It's okay. A little starstruck right now. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, Absolute best of us. Fucking Christ. It's, this, this is busy to look at. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this helps. Jack's Lazarin Brooks. Guard, guard, guard. Yeah, that does help. Uh, I want to. Run across to behind Hawthorne. Yep. And, um... I think I want to fire... Two Eldritch Blasts at guard number three... Where is this one? Yeah, the central one, yeah. Mm -hmm. And use my last... Well, uh, well, we'll see if they hit for my last uh, elemental power. <clears throat> oh, one is a 16 and the other one is a no it's not a 16 it's a 15 and the other one is a dirty 20 just hits hits okay beautiful so in the first one imbue elemental power d10 plus 8 and then dex saving throws for the other two 
Ooh, natural four and natural eight. So the highest is uh, 11. Well, the first guy takes two points of damage. Nice roll. One point of force, one point of fire. And the other two take <laughs> two points of fire damage. Spicy. Okay. Uh, and then the second is just a regular four. Two points of force damage. Love oh boy. that for me. Um, guard number two. If Onu charges up, can he attack guard number two diagonally from behind Jax? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that then. Ah, but it's only a 14 to hit. Just misses, man. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. That's fine. Uh, and that'll be my turn. Uh, actually, before it's Dagon's turn... Um, Davin gets 10 points of 10 HP. That too. What about Onu? Don't do what I think nope. you're going to do. It's based Damn. on the player's turn. Um... So Onu doesn't get health at all? No, he's not special. Never mind. That's not a reaction. It's a bonus action. Armor. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, Dagon, you're up. Hey. Um, I am going to uh, use my arms to grab my spear the new the new collapsible spear pushing the button to pop the thing out is 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 that like a bonus action or is it just something i can do because it's something just you can do push a button okay so yeah pop the spear blade out of it and i go try and hit her with that because i've had a better track record with it than with my arms mm -hmm. i'm guessing i don't get flanking because the spiritual weapon's not like a, a person all right um but that's better that's a 22 that hit. hits Woo! Where's the D? Hey! Hey! It fell. Where is it? There. Uh, five plus three. Uh, so ten total points of piercing damage on the first hit, and I want to spend mm -hmm. a key point to attempt a stunning strike. Okay. Well Constitution done, save. Same. Pogo. Ooh, that's a natural three. That's a fail. Hey! First time. She's. Stunned! Oh my god, you're stunning. Legendary if I hit her with my second attack, resistant. that doesn't give her a chance to break oh the stun. God. Oh, you're gonna legendary resistance no, 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 no. it? I, I made it look like I was going to, but I'm not. Yeah. That's oh, just okay. a face of just like, I'm like, no. <laughs> no, okay. he only uses that against Soko and, and Duke. And Duke, yeah. No, and my, uh, my, no second attack doesn't, my second attack doesn't end the stun. Like, it doesn't end earlier. It, it's happened now. It's I, I fucked with the key in her body. She's just stunned until the next turn. Okay. So, second attack. Oh, you now technically, hit. do you get advantage on the second attack because she's stunned? Yep. Do I? Yeah. She's oh! stunned. That's good because the first one did not hit. That's yes. That was better. Okay. Uh, twenty-two again. That hits. Hit. <clears throat> For nine points of piercing damage. Okay. And then I will just do a regular bonus action unarmed strike with one of my normal arms because my spectral arms are holding the spear, with but just advantage. a single one, and not spending a key point. Um. Oh, those are both terrible. A natural one and a natural four for a no. total of twelve. Not gonna hit. No, 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 no. Okay. okay. Well, that's me done. But you I stunned eight. the bitch. You get eight temp HP. Yay! That's very helpful. <laughs> yes. I'm going to Eldritch Blast her. Go for it, yeah. Again. Uh, any attacks have, adv have advantage against uh, Stunned, so... Yay! That includes your okay. Eldritch Blasts. You're welcome! Nice 24 for the first one. It's And... Ooh, 20... Something. Yes. <laughs> My math stopped working. <clears throat> uh... 10 force damage. Plus, 10 force damage. Uh, 3 necrotic and 3 thunder. And okay. then for the second hit, uh, 12 force damage. And woo, 6 necrotic. Okie dokie. Um, is that your turn? Yes. Well, she spends her turn being stunned, and then at the end of her turn, the stun wears off, I believe, right? Yeah. Or does it save again? No. Laura has to check because it, it happens in her rally. It just says you can spend 
One key point to attempt a stunning strike must succeed or be stunned until the end of my next turn. Oh, the end of your next oh. turn. It says the target must succeed on a constitution saving throw or be stunned until the end okay. of your next turn. There you go. Me. So I, it's just a straight round of combat. Oh, oh um, <laughs> Belle, you get um, nine points of temp HP. Thank you very much. Spicy. It's Hawthorne. Is Hawthorne going to go for another arrow to the ass? Yeah, for one of the guards. Uh, He's really the same one he attacked the last time. Okay. Uh, 24. It's so that's one point of damage. Don't save. At uh, 15. Uh, plus nice. whatever. Fine. All right. Jaxi Poo. Cool. Hawthorne uh, gets nine temp HP. <laughs> and Onu doesn't get any, dude. It's based on, it's literally end of their turn. Onu doesn't technically have a turn. That is true. It's not an initiative. That is true. That is true. His turn yeah. is my bonus action. All if right. it was a different... Aren't there some of the one of the ranger versions where the pet gets their own turn? Maybe. So. I no, I don't think so. Was... It's always been. It's always been. It was used to be an action to command it, right? That was it. Yeah, and that was bonus action because uh, of flashing. Jax, of the three dickhead guards. Mhm. Mm which is looking roughest? Um. This one is technically bloodied. The one that you yeah, have grappled right now. Oh, uh, that's the one you also have grappled right now, so there's that. The as well. other guy in melee with a last room. Mm -hmm. Not the grappled one. Yes. Uh, Jax is gonna go on that's him. Okay. Uh, natural 19 and uh, an 11. Misses. Okay. Uh, 12 points of thunder damage. Okay, not too shabby. Is that it? Yep. Uh, Jax gets 9, 10 HP. Thank you. Elazarin? Yeah, how, how being up to that one that's directly in front of me looking? Directly in front of you, now that Jax has fucking fisted him, yeah. he's looking bloodied. Okay. Hmm. Let's just do... Yeah, I will stick to what my original plan is then. I will, as an action, cast Aura of Vitality. Hmm? Pause, champ. And then, bonus action, my spiritual weapon will um, continue to hit the guard. With advantage, so with advantage. She is stunned. Gonna miss. Gonna miss? Yeah. Yeah, like 14. This is cool. That's my turn. What does, what does Aura of Vitality, Vitality do? So, as a bonus action, if you're within 30 feet of me, I can give you 2d6 regular healing. Okay. So you stay within 30 feet. How long does the Aura stay up? It's oh, a minute. It's a minute concentration. So it's the same yeah. with the dome, but for him, I can use my bonus action to do 2d6. So does that mean really. the dome's done now? No, dome is up. Dome is also up at the same time. I've got you dome. Can do both? Dome is not yeah. concentration. Dome is yeah. not concentration, and it's not it's a spell. Wow. Dome is so ridiculous. I can... Alazrin just became give, so much you, more helpful. I'll give you 10 HP and regular HP right now. But, wow. This oh, yeah. is like paladin level auras. This guard this is, is going to aura. wail on Alazrin twice. Yeah, of course. Uh, disadvantage. Killed and targeted healing. With his advantage? Ooh, yep. that is still a, 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 a 17 to hit. Uh, that does hit. Okay. Does that mean the cloak no longer works? The right. cloak no longer works now. Uh, 10 points of slashing turn, damage. Right, 10 points? Yes. Okay, and I'll do a concentration check. C10. Concentration check is that's just like plus my is it plus my con modifier as well? It's con mod it's it's D twenty plus con. Okay. Wait, Wait, is is it a check or is it a saving throw? It's a check technically. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, eight seventeen. Okay. Second attack. Yeah. Uh, natural one. So this is. You do like two or three natural ones against me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, guard number three, who is grappled by. Brooks, it doesn't give a toss, and it's just going to try and attack Elazarin because he's still a melee. You know? Oh, good job, Koiba. <laughs> <laughs> it's, why is Koiba getting lit? What the fuck? 16? Is my AC. Uh, eight points of slashing damage. If Koiba dies, I'm going to be angry. 20, natural 20 on my contract. Okay, 23 to hit. Yeah. 
uh, for another eight points of slashing damage. Oh, I need to my contract, don't I? Mm -hmm. Yep. Fuck, that's gone. It's gone? Roll a four. That was fun while it lasted. That was fun while it lasted, yep. Um, that yep. is his turn. Brooks. Aura Vitality is gone? Gone, yep. Yep. Oh, that's sad. Warcaster, best beat for casting concentration. Yeah. It's sad. Right. I'm going to Trust me, I'm looking at that. Um, I've changed my plans a little, but... That's fine. Um, fine, I can. I just need to check something really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, How's everyone looking, by the way? Just a quick question. Pretty hot. I have, I have 17 hit points and 8 temporary hit points. Okay. So I have a total of 25 out of 49. So I'm yeah, just yeah. bloody. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> um. <sighs> right. Fuck. Fuck. You should do you, bro. You can take one out, take one out. Is there... Is there a position where I can get all three of them in a 20-foot radius without hitting Jax or Elazarin? 20-foot radius? Yes. No, because I feel like Sorry. if you want to hit the both, like the leftmost and the rightmost one, Jax will always be in that, like, circle. Because that's how shapes work. Oh, okay. Okay. That's how shapes work. Plus, if you're moving, you're dragging the guy that you've got grappled with you, right? I mean, not necessarily, but... No. Um, Action to drop the grapple, okay, right? fine. You, if you no, let go. No, you just let go. Oh. But... Uh, that's fine. Um... Mm -hmm. It would be the guy that I'm grappling that's the fucking trashed one, wouldn't it? Um, Alright, well, I'm going to shove him then. Fuck this guy. Shove him into Jax? No, onto the ground. Oh, shove okay. him prone. Okay. Another saving throw? Yep. Athletics or acrobatics. Uh, it needs to be a 24. Natural one. Okay. Oh. Cool. He's on the floor. Still technically grappled. Oh, mm -hmm. Last key point, Floria blows. Fucking just <laughs> fucking curb stomping him. Yep. Round and pound. Uh, advantage because he's on the ground. Uh, 19. Uh, hits. And a uh, natural 19. Yup, 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 yup. Four, five. Nine. 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. He's still alive. As he lies on the floor, just gets fucking kicked a couple of times. Just <laughs> but he is still alive, yes. Okay. Um, is it going to be like double movement if I drag him away? While he's prone? Or like triple movement? Or I'll say right. I'll say just act like you're on difficult terrain because you're dragging someone with you. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to fucking drag him 25 feet diagonally because I flurry of blows so I get an extra 10 foot of movement. All the way down here? Jesus. Okay, I didn't I didn't expect to go that far diagonally. Um, 5, 10. Uh, I'll just go like 3 down. So this? 3 diagonally. Yeah. 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 And have him uh, above him. It doesn't proc attack opportunity, right? Because he's not the one voluntarily leaving. Uh, pretty he sure, won't, pretty no, sure if he's forced out of no, the melee, it, it is. You won't either. What you think is you? I won't because I flurry blows. He won't yeah. because he's being moved against. He's forcefully well. being moved. Yeah. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, guard number two, which is this one, I think. Slide in here. And uh, gonna... only get an opportunity attack. Yes, he will. Oh, it's uh, 17 plus 6, so yeah, 23 to hit. Uh, the hit. Nope, the 8 plus 5. Oh, uh, 7 points of slashing damage as he tries to oh. slink out of the, the dog's teeths. Okay. 
Brooks, what was your temp HP you're currently on? Uh, 11. Okay. I'm assuming um, that uses my reaction, but honestly, I don't know. 23 to hit you, Alasrin. 23, yeah, that's going to hit. Another 8 points of slashing damage. Cool. The other one missed because it was a natural 1. Nice. That's his turn. Davian. Um, shit, okay. The temptation to shoot at the one at the back that's stunned is like... Mm -hmm. This advantage. No? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna fire two Eldritch Blasts at the uh, the stunned one at the back. Boss lady? They okay. take advantage because my DC is pretty low. It's probably not gonna happen again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boss lady, uh, so Eldritch Blast number one is a 19 to hit. Just misses. What? Yeah. Full plate. What? What? 20. Full pla uh, plate mail and a shield. It's a beefy AC, man. You have to find the chinks in the armor. Well, the other one's fucking 60 to hit, so they don't hit at all. No. AC of 20. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Duke is so good at, like, being so offended. <laughs> That's so <laughs> stupid. Stuff. Like, who do you think you are? You're. Yeah, he always looks so angry that you're NPC like, doing well. Um, <laughs> shit, okay. Onu can't... Each square is five feet, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So, oh. <laughs> Onu's going to run back ten feet and then run forward. Uh, wait, five, ten feet. No, another, another five feet, I think. And then run down past Jax and tackle the guy in front of Jax. Just fucking... Yeah. Okay. Oh, and that is a, a 22 to hit. That hits. Wait, I'm stupid. It's a, I, Every time I think it's a D8, but it's a, a D6, but it's a D8. Plus a D6 now. And that... Oh! Wait. Mm. 9, 11... 14 points of slashing damage and a strength saving throw. 14 points of slashing? Holy shit. Strength save... Oh. Oh, he's fucking one. terrifying as a dog. Natural one? Yeah. He is prone. Okay. Is that it? Uh, yes, that's it. Dagon. All right. Oh, Devin, Try and get her with a spear game. again. Plus 10. Cool. So hit her with the spear again, because she's still stunned until the uh -huh. end of my turn. Mm-hmm. And so that means you have advantage. Yep, so first, it's not great. First attack's only a 15, so it's Doesn't not going to hit her stupid armor. Second attack is uh, not also not going to hit a 17. Her armor is just nope. fucking me up here, dude. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm going to bonus action. Okay. Bonus action, do the regular, just single hit. Okay. Hoping, because I don't want to flurry of blows because I'm out of key points, and I want to try and stun her one more time. So I've just, just one regular hit. Go for it. Oh! Oh, that's better. That's better. 24. It's... So that's that's just an unarmed strike with my normal arm, because that's the thing. So that's In only... Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then I'm going to use the last key point and attempt to stun her one more time, because she's so hard to hit. Well, she's still stunned. We need the advantage. But until the end of my turn, so if I do it again, this will make her restun until the end of my no, next turn. No, because... Your turn ends after you stunning strike, therefore you can't double stun. Just yeah, you stunned. can't you can't stun her when she's stunned. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I so. swear to God, yeah, I saw Marisha no. do that when she was bow. Oh well. I mean, yeah, because occasionally critical role plays fast and loose with the rules. Okay. But technically, you can't like give don't. someone a condition they already <laughs> have. They don't stack. Yeah. That's like, fair. Okay. So Dang. the stun um does end then... when you uh, end your turn. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll keep a hold of my my final key point still. Okay. You never know. Yeah, uh, then that's. Oh, my whole turn was doing nothing. Ugh. Again, we take a so, Oh, wait, wait. So oh, no, I hit her once, I guess. So. Eh. My, okay, well. Nah, never mind. Mm. Already fucking According did to the D&D &D subreddit. Oh, here we go. Okay. If you stun a creature on your first turn, you can stun them on your second turn as well. 
they will now be stunned until your third turn. Yeah, I swear yeah. I can do it again. What does Jeremy Crawford say, babe? <laughs> the thing is, who's answering the D&D subreddit? Because that's just random people. It's like, does that, how much yeah, right, you right. put in that, right? Anyone in chat, if you, you play can't this be DM. affected by something that already affects you. So if you yeah, are charmed, you can't be charmed by a different target. If yeah. you are that's restrained, you can't be restrained by something else. Yeah. You can't stun something. Like, officially. True. And end of the day, it's still DM discretion no matter what. Yeah, like there's any status there. effect. If you're already paralyzed, if you're already uh, incapacitated, if you're already petrified, uh, then you that's what you are. So doubling up on it while it's already happening has no effect. So that's yeah. my... That's how I see Oak it. Okie dokie. dokie. My turn's over. Okay. Uh, she's gonna fucking... Oh, oh wait. Elazarin, do I get any temporary... Uh, oh, I... How much you Can on? you roll... Yes, oh, I have eight right now. So see if it can yes, maybe get Yes, you have better. more. No, you have more than that. I rolled a one. <laughs> okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. It's gonna use... She's gonna use her reaction to... Protect herself and upper AC by two Aww. until the end of her uh, up until uh, the end of her turn. God, her AC is now twenty-two. Guess. Okay, oh, Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't targeting? get advantage. No advantage. Hmm? No advantage. Straight roll. You attack. Yeah. Going for her. Yeah. That did not hit my dice tray. Yes. 23? Just that, that, that hits, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And. Oh, 24. Both hit. I love having high numbers. Okay. High numbers make brain go. Ooh! Uh, 11 force damage mm -hmm. plus. Five necrotic and three thunder. Oh. And that was cocked. Seven, 11 force damage plus six necrotic. How do you want to finish her off? <gasps> yes! Okay. Yeah. That stun. Uh, let's that's, go. That stun made it so that her one turn that she missed because of that stun. Really threw a fucking spanner in the works for what I was planning for her to do. Oh. You bitch. <laughs> uh, force damage is just mugged. gonna blast her into a wall or some shit. Just fucking absolutely. Just the, the, just the sheer slam. impact of it launches her over Diagon into the back wall. Just <laughs> and you know Hell those yeah. red blood stains contrast really well with the white stone walls. <laughs> okay. That's not all, though. There's still a couple no. of guards left to deal with, but uh, Captain has been dealt with. Anything else with your turn? Uh, no. How far? Uh, oh. Bonus. Do I have bonus? No, no. Never mind. No. Go. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. True. Hawthorne? <laughs> uh, Hawthorne is going to shoot uh, one of the guards. Same guy uh, that's been shooting the entire time? Yeah. <laughs> Because okay. fuck that guy. He's gonna particular. whittle him down one HP <laughs> at a time. Exactly, one HP at a time. One HP at a time. Uh, 23. It's. One point of damage, con save. Eight. Eight? Yeah. He's poisoned. Oh. Does he do extra damage, or is he just poisoned as in the status effect? Uh, I think it's just the status effect. Yeah, he's just poisoned. Okay. Well, have disadvantage on this attack is the main thing of that. Yep. Um, Oakley Dokley. Fuck that guy. The fuck, dude? All right. Jax. You done? Uh, Jax is going to... There's a guy prone in front of him. There's a guy poisoned <laughs> diagonally in front of him. I mean, he's just going to double whale on the guy that's prone, I guess. Oh, yeah. Advantage. Let's go. Uh, fucking 17. It's... Uh, what's his bonus? Uh, 11 points of thunder damage. Okay. Is he still up? 
Barely. <laughs> I'ma hit him again. That's cock. That's poo. Uh, 17 again. 17 again? Yeah. Yes. What's the minimum damage you can do? Uh, six. That is exactly his HP. So he is cool. done. Cool. He is exploded by the power of thunder. Oh yeah. Is that Jax's uh, turn? Yeah. Okay. Elazidin. Oh. Oh, is this guy in front of me looking? <clears throat> uh, bloodied. Uh, okay, I'll bonus action with my spiritual weapon up to be behind him. Uh, for 18, no wait, um, yeah, 18. Hit. And that does 12 points of damage. Oh, okay. And then... Still alive, but barely. Why would you say that to me? Yeah, like the, fuck the, it. The, the spiritual weapon just like bashes him in the back of the head. You can see there's like blood coming out of his mouth, like seeping from under the helmet. It's, he's not looking like he's having a good time right now. <clears throat> Fuck it! Why not? I'm gonna part my rapier and stab him. Go on. I have a 24 to hit. That hits. The seven points of damage. You take out your rapier and just thrust it between some of the, like, softer bits of the armor that he's wearing straight through the heart and... Just as soon as you pull the rapier out, it slumps down, lifeless. Nice. All right, one left. Uh, is that your turn, Lazarin? Uh, yes. Now I'm gonna get fucking temp HP. Nine. One left. This guy is prone, grappled. <laughs> so it's just gonna look at Brooks and just. Tell him to end it all. <laughs> he, can try, he, can try, he can try and break the grapple. But he wants to swing at you. Or he can swing at me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Natural two. Like the first one. Yep. Cool. That hits. Okay. Natural five on the second one. So both of his attacks miss. Sure, Brooks, it? please end this guy's misery. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Snap, that. How hurt is he looking? Very. One of his arms is out of, looks in a very unnatural position. One of his legs, like his foot is like turned the wrong way, 90 degrees. He's not looking very good. When, like nobody else seems to be taking like survivors, right? Like everyone else has just no. brutally murdered these people. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Pretty much. There's a fucking like splatter painting of blood on the wall behind you. There's corpses strewn along a Lazarin and Jax. Yeah, yeah. And People he's the last man? He's the last guy, yes. I'm just gonna drag him to the the wall, direct north. Like and here? just... With the back of his head, I'm gonna lift him up off the ground and just... just into the wall? Just... Yeah, face first. It's, yes. <laughs> Roll an attack with advantage, just for the sake of the, the integrity of the game, but, um... Do you want the good news or the bad news? One. The good news is it hits. His suffering is over. Mm-hmm. It's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, super so it's dead. really over. Yeah. Super dead. Okay. It's super dead. With that... I feel like that's like a fucking, like, Omni-Man scene, where it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> just, just hand and wall. Nothing. With that, between. that is combat over. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Since so, I know we're over time, but uh, I'm gonna go up to the captain of the guard. Mm -hmm. A woman. Yes. Fucking just see what she has on her. Make an investigation check. Hey, that. Like twelve? No. Twelve? Yeah, twelve. I can do twelve. Uh, you find nothing but a note. What's the note say? Uh, it is more of that code. Okay. Oh, good. Um, does her shield look anything special, or does it look like just a... Just a guide called? shield. Just straight shield, cool. Is it dead Just a standard, in, a standard issue blue sentinel shield. Okay. And I start looking at the walls for any secret 
pass it either like a stone that loose and pushes in or like a hidden like button or something. Make an investigation check. That's not going to be very good. It's a straight roll. Oh, can, I, can I help her if I see what she's doing? Sure. Okay. I'll, okay. But it's uh, probably we'll not going to get much we'll better We'll give Laura advantage on this one. Okay. I, I rolled the same number twice. So oh. 16. 16. You notice that um, the left wall, the western wall of the uh, room, is a small like split that seems unnatural to you. And that makes you want to search around. There's a button okay. hidden. Hey. Push it. You push, push it. Button. And the wall that where that split was just starts to open up. I just gesture for Kess to come and, over. And uh, when it opens up, it leads into a small room. No light source. You can smell just this, this scent of excrement and, and sweat oh, and blood. And you see, leaning My against the wall, response. a very skinny looking tiefling, chained up. Uh, orange tiefling, sorry. Uh, chained up against the wall, wearing nothing but a loincloth, body covered in wounds, some of which still have salt flakes stuck in them. <clears throat> There's no source of light in this room. This is, it's, it was pitch black. The only source of light is coming from the, the opening that you just created. He was being kept in pitch black darkness, living in a space very tiny, malnourished, for no, no, nowhere to sleep, just manacles that attach him to the wall, right. and there's like a bucket for him to, to relieve himself in. That's it. That's all there is there. Dad. He I... opens his eyes and, and looks at looks at you and just kind of... Do you walk up at that point, Lazarin? Uh, yeah, we'll start walking up. Knew you would find me. I try hey. to... I run over to him, um, and I will cast Cure Wounds at uh, third level. It's fucking like, it's fucking CPR, Cure Wounds, Cure Wounds, Cure Wounds. Cure wounds. <laughs> no, it's more like, I go, I go, oh, I go oh, basically like, <laughs> I like look and just like go and fucking basically like hug and just get a Cure Wounds on. And that is, that shit rolls, fucking hell. It's better than nothing, he'll take it. Oh, okay, it's not bad as always. I thought I rolled that was a one. So uh, he heals up for uh, 19. 19. Um, and I will try and see a way to. Is he like up against the. Like, is he like chained to the He's wall? He's chained, like, yeah. yeah. With like manacles attached to the wall. Yeah. Um, I mean, I will we'll try and. On the guard captain, I'll go back to the guard captain's body and try and see if I find a set of keys. While he's doing that, I'll go over and try and pick it. Um. Okay, sure. Uh, th thieves tools check while you go look for the uh, the keys, Lazarin. Don't even bother, my guy. No, okay. Don't bother. That's what you think. That's what you think. <laughs> That's what I think. As, as soon as you put thieves tools into this, this no! like, keyhole on the manacles, they just evaporate. Just... <sighs> That's bullshit. At least I have loads of those. Maybe we should check the guards for keys. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That he point, was doing that. I now just that you're like maybe. actively searching for keys, that you don't have to roll. You find one small key, uh, and there's like a small arcane rune etched in it. Yeah, I will go up and unlock his manacles. Uh, yeah, they fit, and the key and does not get evaporated. Get down and gently get him down. And you now, as you kind of like, do you kind of like lift him up a little bit? Yeah. You like arms. Very, very, uh, he's a lot skinnier and thinner than he was last time you met him. He yeah. has been kept here for a little while and is just, he's malnourished. Barely fed him. They, they like, it seems like they fed him enough to like keep him alive, but definitely not enough to. I'll give, I'll hand him just like some rations. Like, sorry, it's not much, but it's probably better than what you've had been eating. Uh, don't even think if I, you know, if you would give me a full meal right now, I don't even think I could eat it. And like, I'll get my water skin as well and hand that over to him. And all like, he does take if he's, when, if when he's you weak hand enough. him the water skin, he definitely does guzzle down a lot of water. He's not really into the yeah. food, but water is definitely yeah. a welcome. Cast just goes, take take us take us though. I remember. Don't, not not super fast. That's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. So, it's 
Good to see you all. Nice to meet you. You're alive! Mm, <laughs> barely. Just gonna I got you. Pat and Lazarin on the back and a wipe my hand off on the back of his cloak. <laughs> you wouldn't happen Perhaps, to have found uh... my, my supplies, have you? I feel a bit, uh, a bit naked. That's we weird. haven't given this place a full look around yet. So. Sort of, uh, what sort of weapons do you normally use? I'm well versed with a lot of things, but uh, at my time of capture, I had two short swords. I have not seen any short swords. I can throw him one of mine. Since I'm using a dagger and a short sword primarily, I, I just pull a scabbarded short sword, short, short sword, short sword out of my backpack and, and toss sword. it to him. I have a couple of spare daggers. I, mm. I have spare daggers. This will well, do for uh, now, and hopefully, until we find my supplies uh, lying around somewhere. They shouldn't be far. Name is Valor, by the way. Uh, pleasure oh, to make your acquaintance. We know. we know. We know. Yeah. I'm Davian. Davian. I'm Cass. Yes. Brooks. Brooks. That's Dagon. Dagon. Uh, I'm Jax. Jax. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Uh, appreciate you uh, keeping my friend Elazar here safe. <laughs> See that? We don't really have much plan after this. Favors, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> what was that, uh, Quiver? Sorry? We don't have too much plan once we've got you out of here. Well, as long as I can get enough distance from this place, um, any any place that has some kind of civilization will do. I'll make myself disappear. I just need a few days to uh, recover. Yes, right. Let's find your stuff, I guess, and get the fuck out of here. Do you happen to know the code for this? Just passing that thing I found. Oh. Looks like it's... Um, yes, it's a list of names and locations I don't know whether these are potential recruits or targets judging by their importance it could, they could be both well on this list now past the list that the guard had I or the don't suppose someone by the name of General Kron is on that list no it says Tranliel Eldilon Yenel Kalzir so it's targets then. Peter Riz, Eldilon. A cool spark bolt, Kalzir. Oh! Joffrey, hey! Joffrey Gregorson, Bright. Oh my fucking, both my fucking DD characters for this campaign are in the fucking lay. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So it was Tranliel, um, P Peter Riz, yeah. um, fucking Theonel. Nicole, Theonel. Th Th Tranliel and Theonel are way too similar. Yeah. Yeah. And the fifth one was a, a J name. Joffrey Gregorson, Briarstown. Yeah. And like I said, they could be they could be targets that they want to get rid of or potentially recruit. Um, I think they might be targets. You don't think that maybe this had anything to do with the whole snake people thing we dealt with with Tranlio. Nah. Yeah, sorry to ask Valor, but which like I, I know I, I haven't been if well in the continent a while. But... Um I did hear about uh, an attempted assassination on Tranliel and at that time I was still very much involved with this group and I can tell you that that was not us. I'm not sure if that makes it better or worse. Not everything in the world has to be connected. Mm, true. Coincidence nice does exist. exist. I'll, um, I'll pass on the note that I found on the captain's body. He reads it and looks at you. And his eyes kind of widen. Um, this says... The override Archibald Vespasian Vinod Dunbar. Okay. I'm confused. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, can you say it one more time so I can write it down? The override. And then yep. dash Archibald Vespas Vespasian Vinor Dunbar. Archibald Vespasian Vinor Dunbar? Is that what you said? 
The Nord. The Nord. The Nord. Lazarin's last name. And Lazarin's last name. Lazarin Julius Vinod Dunbar. And Lazarin just like goes white when he hears that. This is not the first usual. time I've heard them mention this override. It's not the yeah. first time I've heard of it either. They think whatever it is, it's connected to this continent. Whoever controls it, controls the elements. They also think it's connected to the sudden reveal of this continent to the world. They have big plans for it. That's what I've been able to pick up before they captured me. Well, Does this mean anything on. to you, and why is it next to your father's name? My... He... He's been mentioning it. The, my father's not well. Mm -hmm. And he's been writing in his diary of his, and been mentioning to me, just constantly, about this override. How long ago did this start? Years ago. Well, not too long ago. But... It's affected couple of my family before we just thought it was them going a bit you know my father's getting old now he um we'll talk about it once we're out of here it is something this this is not a coincidence and you see like oh, i was just distracted now and he's fully just disassociated and we'll uh pick this up next week yeah oh you <laughs> God, he's in trouble. <laughs> Who? <laughs> okay, great session. Great session. On yeah. that heavy. <laughs> good game. 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 Good so the override is not a title for your dad. It's something separate, and they just think your dad knows about it. It's not like I thought. The was like that's what they're calling him. And I was like, the <laughs> fuck does that mean? Archibald you Dunbar, know, the override. Shut up, Archie. Maybe Lazarus' dad is in on it. Lazarus' dad. Why do you say that? It's my dad. That's my dad. <laughs> That's my dad. Hope you guys enjoyed the session. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for playing. We, we went on a little longer than normal, but I figured, you know, we're close to, like, finding Valor in this. So I was like, let's fucking yeah. stick it through, you know what I mean? Yeah. We never had the cough today, anyway. So okay. uh, yeah, plus that. And I'm sure if we had, someone would have piped up at any point. <laughs> and they didn't, so. Yeah, I actually am four hours late for something. Yeah? yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks so much for watching, everybody, as well. You guys are awesome. Roll stream. Thanks so much for the follow. And uh, all the subs and stuff today, guys. You guys are awesome. We'll be here again next week. There will be a oh. discourse. Koiva? Yeah. You want to be on discourse, yeah. Bubby? Yeah. I should be. Fr Am I call him Bubby? Yes. Yeah, Bubby. I hate yeah. it. I hate it so much. Bubby. Yeah, that's fine. Just let me know what time, because I might be working. <clears throat> um, I might yeah, be. I definitely on... am working. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll... Do you have a day off this week? That would um, work better than thursday because uh, thursday we're already having to do some shit because of shoot the shit so you might as well just pick a whole probably. day entirely right? i think like if not like saturday though because i'm working like uh, well mm. any day apart from wednesday any day I apart from do. wednesday yeah so keep it on twitter and discord tomorrow we'll we'll, yeah. we'll make a well, does anyone else feel inclined to I'm this, really busy uh, this week. I don't think I'll have time. Mm -hmm, this week's mm -hmm, a bit mm -hmm. fucked for me because my the first of all the weddings this summer is this coming weekend. Oh shit! So. Oh, oh. Um, who do you want on? Who have you got shit to discuss with? Uh, pff, everybody and anybody really. So if you want to be on, Ethan, you're more than welcome to. Uh, 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 should be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll workshop the day and time exactly because this week is a bit weird. Yeah, so we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. workshop it. Um, no divinity yeah. tomorrow because I'm not home. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys had fun. This was great. I had a really good time. Um, it was good. I hate we'll, it. We'll see what happens Don't next week. Calm. I hate not having rage for the entire session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you literally were fine. I Stop crying. <laughs> Is anybody live that we love and care about? Not really. So um, I guess we'll uh, just... Uh, oh, rude. Yeah. Dip em. out. Go, Thanks for watching. Go live. Play Pokemon. Catch y'all next oh. time. Peace out, baby. Bye. 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 Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. Bom, 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 b